Minecraft has been out for almost 13 years now, and it has undergone so many different changes. A lot of those changes have probably been there since you started playing. The 1.21 update is about to happen, so I thought it was a good idea to rediscover Minecraft's evolution. Every five days, I will update Minecraft to its next version and complete everything in that update. That way, we can see Minecraft in all its glory. And hey, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. And without further ado, let's start this nostalgia-filled journey on day number one. So here we are, day number one, and as you can see, we spawn on an old classic random island. So from day one to day five, we'll be in the official 1.0 release of Minecraft. And this is just the base game. It has the end, it has the nether, but it's pretty bare bones. So our goal for the first five days is finding a place to build our old fashioned house. So let's do the normal Minecraft thing and chop up a tree and then craft our crafting table and some sticks. And of course the trusty first pickaxe, mine some stone, build some more tools, just all the normal essentials of Minecraft. One thing that I find really cool is all the old textures, like the saplings on the ground. Those look amazing. Enchanting will be really important later on. So we got to get our sugar cane up really quick. And I think the last thing we need to do is build a boat because i mean where else do we have to go and then we set sail for more land because that's what old minecraft is about <laughs> Alright, alright, enough of the sea shanties. And now we're finally found some land. Let's go. You know, the thing that I thought was cool about this, it's gonna get really annoying, is when I crash into the side, my boat breaks. I can't just pick up my boat. Anyways, enough of my complaining, but I come up here and I realize how many mobs spawn in old Minecraft. It's actually crazy. Look at all these cows. I mean, I don't kill them because obviously this is a vegan playthrough, right? Anyways, it's getting pretty dark, so I make my bed, which is actually a red bed. They don't have any other colored beds yet, so I just go to sleep. All right, so on the start of day number two, I address my food situation. I craft a furnace and make some charcoal really quick. And in the meantime, I start chopping some trees, but I almost, like th this, I almost died on day number two. He would have killed me. Bloody fell in the water, so we're good. And then I finally get my food situation under control. And the next goal is to get so much wood I can build my house with. So I make another axe and get to chopping some trees. Oh, hey, I wonder how that skeleton... Oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, we're good. I'm a gamer. We're... We're gaming. After all the chippity choppity, we got two stacks of logs. Well, now we basically have all the materials we need to build our house, so we need to clear out this plane. I mean, it's not very even. We need some more dirt, and we need to chop a bunch of dirt down. So, boom. All right, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It is day four now, but we got it done. That's all that matters. And so what I did here with this house is I went for the classic Minecraft house that you made when you were maybe nine years old. There's no room to jump. You're just hitting your head on the ceiling. The floor is not wood. It's just dirt and you can't forget about the classic fence gate and then the door having pressure plates because that was a big thing when i was younger and of course i had to do the single line of glass panes all around the house and after i moved everything in i took a nap to head over to day number five the first thing i did the next day was build the final thing that you always have in your house a little cave entrance since i really had nothing to do for the rest of the day i thought i might just go ahead and mine try to get some diamonds really quick and after a couple minutes our little strip mine entrance was done but before i actually strip mining i thought i might scour the land and see if there's actually any caves i can go in turns out there was a mini ravine by my house so i just dropped in the water and started looking around i mined some coal a couple pieces of iron some more coal one more piece of iron well that was garbage after looking around a little more i found some more iron and then i just went back home because there was literally nothing else to do there i did come back with 16 pieces of iron ore though so that was pretty good i gently tickled some cows for their leather in the meantime and when i got back i made myself an iron chest plate helmet and pickaxe and of course i didn't want to waste my night so i went down in the mines and started mining of course i don't what else would i do as i was mining down to wide level 11 to get diamonds i ended up mining into this big old ravine that goes down to wide level 11 and this thing was pretty nice and just around the corner there was a monster spawner which is just so insane i forget how easy it is to find these in the older versions when i went inside i realized it was the skeleton spawner so i had to be really careful to not get shot off on the edge but i was able to just kill him through this one by one hole so it wasn't that bad and when i looted the chest there was some pretty good starter stuff like a bucket and some 
iron ingots. I immediately made some iron boots because the more armor, the better right now. Went ahead and explored more of the cave because I'm pretty sure I had a little bit more time left. And I got a whole bunch of resources while I was down here, including some nice diamonds. So I went ahead and made my diamond pick and mined all the obsidian I'll need because I don't want to do that later, honestly. And once that was done, I did a little more caving and then I headed back up. When I got back up, I had a little bit of a sleeping situation, but I got rid of that really quickly. And before I decided to head to bed, I expanded my chest, made another furnace and started smelting all the ores that I got. And of course I had to finish my set of iron armor with the pants, which made me feel just so much better. And I sat and waited for everything to smelt for day number six. Wait, um, so apparently I made a mistake and this is now day number five, part two. I just accidentally did one more day than I was supposed to and I didn't realize it. So you're just getting another day. I mean, think about it that way. And we got a little friend outside of our house. At the start of the day, I make an iron sword and go finish all the mobs outside of the house just so no random creepers explode my house. Obviously, no one likes that, huh? And then the goal of the start of the day is to build a farm. I mean, the wheat farm's not going to be as useful, but the sugar cane we're definitely going to need a lot of. And another thing people did a lot back in the day was make roller coasters. Now, I know this isn't a roller coaster, but it is sort of like that. It still counts. It's still cool. And once I was done with it, it went all the way to my crop farm and back. So that was pretty cool. And it works. And we're gaming. Look at us. Ooh, doesn't that bring out the old memories in ya? And after that nostalgic ride, I went back to my house, went to sleep, and went on to day number six. And boom, I know it doesn't look too different, but we're officially on 1.1. So the main features of this update are spawn eggs, and then beaches and super flat worlds. So that really doesn't pertain to us whatsoever. So I guess we will continue to discover what was in 1.0. I guess we can start with the nether. We can go and make a flint and steel. And since I don't want to mine a obsidian ever again, I will go ahead and just place this over in this area. Boom. Oh, boom. Let's light this thing up. Let's see what our nether seed looks like. It looks like the nether. Okay, there's already a fortress over there. That's pretty nice. This is so nostalgic. What the heck? And there's another fortress over there too. Look at this. Look at look at this nether rack. It's the old texture. It's so cool. And there's nothing that really hurts me in here. I mean, besides gas and blazes, but I don't think wither skeletons were made at that point. And zombie pigmen don't hurt you unless you hit them. So in reality, this is one of the least dangerous places to be. So I guess I'll come back whenever I um, have the means to explore those areas. But for now, I am going to head to my house boom so we are going to explore the nether in the next couple of days but what i really want to do is try to find a village because villagers and villages were in the first iteration of the game and i think it's only fitting to go and find those maybe find a blacksmith i would look for a building with the little stone slabs on the top of it and then boom i knew i'm gonna get something good i think we should definitely go and do that next yeah we'll just continue to explore probably make some boats if we need to all right we might be on an island so i made a boat and we're gonna go ahead and explore this ocean see what it's got for me okay we got some very interesting land up here but i don't think i'll get off over here it doesn't look like there's much right there now this looks like some new land i'm pretty sure swamps forests and hills are the only biomes right now i mean they're probably deserts but other than that i think that's quite literally it and boom oh i guess there is spruce biomes or taiga biomes or whatever they're called but i'm pretty sure villages can only be in plains maybe the desert but that might be a stretch well to the left is a snow biome to the right is a swamp i don't see anything that catches my eye over here and i guess in this update they actually added a biome blend to some extent there's particles in the settings and language you can change your language that's pretty cool i had been running for a while and kind of getting nowhere I was in the spruce biome for a while. Yeah, the more I go, the more I realize this is probably just an ice biome. Ooh, I see pumpkins. I didn't know pumpkins existed yet. Let me go grab some of those. And they're just jack-o'-lanterns. What? Hey. Cow. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to get some pumpkins. But yeah, I guess um, we should probably build another boat. Blocking. I don't know if blocking was in the last version, but blocking is here with our sword. You haven't seen that in a while. I know that for sure. Let's get on with our boat. What the? Let's go across over here. Do I need to be fighting Enderman already? Because I'm I'm pretty sure that it's very hard to get Ender Pearls right now. To answer my question, yes. 
Yes, I should have been farming them. You'll find that out around day 50, I believe, so yeah. But yeah, there's literally nothing in sight. Am I wasting my time? I might be. I think we'll give it another day before we actually head back. Oh, and we got more land. Try to give it a couple seconds. And there is a desert. Okay. Guess we'll anchor down over here and start running. See what this desert's got for us. All right. Um, I got lied to. Maybe there's more stuff over here. I see a bigger desert. I'll grab me some cactus just because. Oh, that, that hurt quite a bit. Uh-oh. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything in this desert. We're not done yet. There's still a lot of land to explore. Let's just keep on going. Well, I guess we're getting somewhere. This looks like a place that a village could actually spawn in. Well, day number seven is upon us, and we're still traveling the world. I'll keep looking for the rest of the day, and then once it's nighttime, I think I'll head back. A brown sheep. Wow, that's so cool. Another brown sheep. What? Oh. And there's some more water. You know what time it is. Onward. Wherever the Lord takes me. Um. There we go. Okay, enough of that. Let's just continue to go. Let's just keep swimming. Yeah, check out this, ladies and gentlemen. We found it. Hmm, this gives me an idea, though. If you want me to do 100 days in a deserted island, that'd be pretty fun. Just comment down below, and I'll do it for you. Okay, and I thought the generation we had nowadays was bad. This is a little rough. Finally, some more land, but I can guess what that is. And what do you know? It is just as I predicted. Okay, yeah, maybe I just wait till further updates to explore some more. But in the meantime, I'm going to head back. And Oh, and we're on the ground. Let's go. Another vast ocean we must cross. I'm so excited, mate. I'm so excited. I love crossing oceans with boats. There we go. All right, and now we just run home this way for like 700 blocks. So fun. So exciting. Ow. Ow. Hey, hey, calm down there, pal. And guess what? Guess what? We see our house. It only took us all day and all night. Ooh. Whew. Time to go to sleep. Well, today is day number eight, and I think all the exploration is out of the question. I mean, we could go to the nether and look at that stuff, but we could also go down and start strip mining a lot to get some more stuff for all the other stuff, if that makes sense. And I think I will go down and try to mine some diamonds, get as much as I can, get that enchantment table going too. Speaking of that, let's go and check on our crops. It doesn't look like they have done much. Um, we also haven't been here, so I mean, that would make sense. But we do have one piece of sugar cane that has grown. Let me go ahead and plant that right there. There's seven steak, and then there's seven steak right there. What we'll do is we have enough iron to just take and make new pickaxes. Boom. Then we still have that diamond pickaxe we can use. All right, let's go ahead and go down here. But yes, I will go ahead and dig out this way. I might do Y level 12 because 11 is when lava starts, and I'd rather not dig into lava ever. You know, I think that makes a lot of sense. But yes, I will continue to strip mine with those sweet, sweet diamonds. Get that enchantment table going, get it all fixed up. Hopefully before the next five days so we can update it to 1.2 and do all the things that that brings hmm. forget there's so many caves that we're gonna dig into too it's pretty pretty cool oh and we got some iron as well we need all of that oh and that actually that, oh, oh, oh. that just scared the ever living bejeebies out of me brother that was um that was pure nostalgia oh some more lava I don't like that. But there is a new cave. I guess we'll explore it for a second. Yeah, we're all good. Not a big deal. Let's go back to the strip mining, brothers. And just like that, we have some more. And just like that, we just had to go a little further. That's it. That's all it took. How many is it? Uh, ooh, is it five? I think it might be five, two, three, four, five, six. What? And now we're just six diamonds richer. Let's go. Now we can make all of our tools and our enchantment table. Let's go. Let's go. That's pretty cool. Ooh, they just look so much better back in the day. I don't know why. Look at that. Look at how look at how rich I am. Boom, boom, boom. Enough of that. Let's continue. Remember one of my fondest memories. Me and my friend Will would always. 
play Minecraft and strip mine for about like six hours at a time, just getting so filthy rich. We'd have a competition to see who could get more diamonds just because it was fun like that. And it was always just so random. There were times where I would absolutely destroy him. And there were times where he would absolutely destroy me. It would just depend. It'd be the funnest thing ever. And then whenever we died with all those diamonds, we would never play in the world again. Another cave. Are there any diamonds in this cave? Let's find out. Oh, and another ravine. Wow. Let me place this right here and that right there so something unusual to mark it off and there's mine shafts for some reason the update logs it said mine shafts weren't added till 1.3 but i saw them earlier and i i mean i'm seeing one right now so i don't know how true that is it'd be pretty cool if there was chests in these things let me go and explore that because i mean why not oh good thing i came this way when you see that blue rock in the cave when you're just about crying what's that i found a diamond yeah on three Three diamonds. Oh, four diamonds. Let's go. Five diamonds. Let's go. That's just so huge. 11 diamonds already. What can I say? I'm a gamer. What can I say? Let's continually go down this big old thing and see what's up. Bye bye. I'm a gamer though. What'd you expect that of me? Surprise you're attacking me right now. You're just the biggest gamer you know. And I was talking about the chest, and there's literally one right here, and there's one right there. So this might be a fantastic find. Let's go ahead and boom. Okay. Kind of garbage. Melon seeds, though. I think that's the only way you can get them right now. Let's see what's in here. Even more garbage, but I'll take what I can get. Another chest. Thank you. Okay, now I'm kind of getting deep into this thing, and is that smart? Um, no, it's not. All right. I don't feel comfortable dealing with that right now, so I won't. Oh, but I'm glad we continued to go down in this cave, because I wouldn't be able to find these diamonds. 15 diamonds so far, and we've only been down here for about 12 minutes, too. Half a day. Uh, I think I'm done with the mine shaft. I'm just going to continuously... Do this. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm out of here, honestly. Got pretty lucky with what I have. But how do I get out of here? Oh no. Oh no. Not the cave spider. Give me out. Oh. That's how I get out. There we go. Ooh, we're all good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good thing I came back because there's some more diamonds. Now we have 19. Now, where's the entrance to my strip mine is the real question here. I really don't know. Oh, there we go. Found it. Let's go. And then now we just block this off and continue our digging. I think once I get enough diamonds to get full armor and tools, I'm going to head back up. Oh my goodness. I know you saw how visibly scared I got from that. That, oh, we're mining our dirt with diamonds. Come on, like, you know, we're that rich. I think once this pickaxe breaks, we're going to go ahead and head up and assess our situation. Oh, oh. Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Is that five more diamonds? Okay, so now we have enough for a full set of armor and our enchantment table. We need one for a shovel, three for an axe, and two for a sword. So that makes six. We can make a diamond hole, but do we really need to? No. So we at least need six more. All right, I'll just check it out. Just one, just for a second. There's these green guys that don't want me to live. There we go. Yeah, I might just um not explore anything just because these guys are just everywhere. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna box up, box like a fish, and we're gonna keep keep mining. We're just we're just going. We're gaming. Well, I do still have a diamond pickaxe and 14 minutes left till the day ends. So let's go for a little oh all right, yeah, no. Alright, yeah, that was yep. That was a sign that we should head home. All right. Now just go up the stairs and then go up the other stairs just slowly and slowly. And as we get up, I think it's raining. Is that what that noise is? Yep. And it's like slowly on the day or blah, 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 blah. I think it's on the end of day number eight. So I'll go ahead and plop all of my belongings in these furnaces. And I think I'm going to go ahead and craft all of my armor. All right. And let's see how we look. Boom. There we go. We're a bunch of gamers. Look at us. Look at us. Oons, 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 oons. And then we can go ahead and make our enchantment table. I just need a little bit of sugar cane. Let's take our minecart track all the way down there. Let's go and farm all of this up. I see you, creeper. You're not hiding. I would fight you, but not ballsy enough yet. All right, so now I think... It is time to go to sleep to stop all the monsters. So now on day number 10, we'll start off by building. Oh, never mind. Forgot about the rest of the enchantment table. Oh, we'll make some paper and then hit him with the book. Um, excuse me. So uh, we can't make books. What's what's going on here? Um, OK, wait, what? Wait, whoa, hold up. Why? Why? What? What? It makes no sense. Um, that. 
okay. Sure, whatever, but then I guess we'll hit him with the boom, 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 enchantment table, and we got the enchanter achievements. I guess what we can do is we just make a bunch of paper. Boom, that's how we just make our books. Okay, and then we do our wood, Then we should be able to make just the bookshelves the same way, correct? Yes, okay, good. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used all that sugar cane, but now we already have three bookshelves. All right, I'm gonna go and place this down back here, as well as our bookshelves. Boom, the start of something great, and it just takes experience and we do not know what it is which is gonna be so fun and exciting i'm so excited is that fun and exciting twice anyways i guess i'll go around the surrounding island and collect as much sugar cane as i can because i'm not sure what update it takes books or what i'm not sure what update it makes books require a piece of leather and i would rather not it have to if you know what i'm saying if you know what i'm saying picking up what i'm putting down actually all these animals are looking pretty scrumptious right now let me go get my flint and steel um where did it go whatever i'll just make another one let's see if this still works Boom, it does. Let's go. Oh, and then I burned the food. All right. Now, wow. I feel like I'm balling out in the meat right now. Pause. Wait, what? Boom. 58. It's crazy. 58 steak. <sighs> now I won't have to farm food for a while. It's just pretty nice. Go plant this other sugar cane all the way over here. It's not much, but it will multiply. Do I hit the hay? Do I hit the hay ski real quick? Move on to 1.2. I think I do. I'm ready for a new challenge. Me, 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 me. Now, day number 11, we're on the 1.2 update. In this update, the main focus of it was the jungle biome, as well as the ocelots and iron golems. And also redstone lamps, but that's not as important as the other ones. With that being said, I think I'm going to set aside these next five days to go find a jungle and create an iron golem. We might have enough iron to do that. I think we might as well. All right, we have our four iron blocks, and we did get pumpkins, so we will go ahead and plop this bad boy down outside. And boom, there we go. Oh, there he is. Look at him. I actually dislike iron golems for very specific reasons. Reasons that no one understands. All of the hours of hard work gone in an instant because of him. But this guy won't hurt me. He's my friend. He's pretty cool. But with that being said, we do need to go find a jungle. I think the best option is go this way. Before I head out, I'm going to make some iron tools and craft myself a boat premeditatedly, if that's even a word. I just know that I'm going to need it, but I swear I will take all my wood with me, so it's not going to be a big deal. And we're going to go ahead and head out. It'll be interesting interesting to see what kind of generation we get now. I plan on the update where elytras get added. I'm going to go and kill the ender dragon and all that kind of stuff in those five days. I just feel like it'd be less of a hassle to do that that way instead of do it now and then have to go back if you if you know what I'm saying. Because further in this video, elytras are going to be very, very useful with just the exploration part, finding new chunks while I'm boating around in the ocean. I just want to say thank you guys for your support on the last video. It is exceeding my expectations and it means so much. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button. It means a lot and you can always unsubscribe later. But with that being said, let's head out and find this jungle. There are also a couple things that I'm a little interested about. I don't know if that's right. But for starters, you know how I made a red bed out of white wool? Since it's red now, but it's just called bed whenever i get the beds or the bed update or i think it's a world of color update actually does that bed turn into a white bed or will that bed stay a red bed and will be named red bed i don't know i'm just asking i'm curious and secondly whenever i go down into older chunks and there is that build limit like right now the build go the build limit goes down to zero or zero is the bottom bedrock but whenever the new update comes i think it's the, it might be the cage close update there might have been an update beforehand that increases the length below that and go to the negatives can i break that bedrock through means like of like a piston contraption and build underneath there or is that bedrock going to be gone and it's going to generate new parts down there or what like I have, I have no idea i would assume that it would just have the bedrock there and you just can't go lower than that but i'm very interested in seeing what happens my world might be broken There's, i've i've literally been driving the bullet for five minutes nothing nothing whatsoever land ho land ho and off to the swamp we go should I stop there and start running or should I continue? I mean, I know we're in new chunks and a jungle can definitely spawn, but mm, I don't know. I mean, jungles commonly spawn on the edges of oceans. So the odds of me finding one by just floating in the ocean is a lot better than getting out and running, right? I'm going to assume so. Let me just keep, keep on trucking along. I mean, I'm finding these little island sections like the archipelagos or whatever you want to call it. Nothing's cool. Just all garbage. Just garbage utter garbage mate hi boys we found it we found the jungle biome here it is oh this is actually depressing is that another swamp i'm just i 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've literally gone over 2,000 blocks. Over 3,000 blocks, actually. I haven't found anything. No. That's not fair. <gasps> Wait. Wait, is that it? Is that it? That's either it or a very interesting tree. Screw it. I'm just swimming over there. Oh my goodness. We found it. We started at 600 on the x-axis and now it's negative 2,889. Well, at least I know the jungle is just directly this way. That's pretty cool, I guess. We have finally made it. Hooray. Now time to explore what the jungle has to offer. Ow. When they said jungle, did they add jungle temples too? I, I mean, I would assume so, but uh, there's pumpkins. That's not normally in a jungle. I haven't seen a cat at all or an ocelot. You know, we might have came on this way for literally nothing. The jungle wood is atrocious. Honestly, I had no idea it was added so early though. A couple of things that are different from the jungle that I'm in right now and the ones that are in the actual game today are there's no cocoa beans on the trees. Oh, that tree's pretty cool. What the heck? There are no cocoa beans on the trees. There are no, there's no bamboo because bamboo is pretty recently added in. There are no parrots. Cows actually spawn over here. I mean, melons exist, but they decided to put pumpkins inside of the jungle instead of melons. And a big thing that I'm not seeing are the ocelots, which was just, which was a big part of this. Oh, meow, meow. Why are you running? Hey, kitty. Oh, I don't have any fish. Do I need to go fishing? I need some string, though. Oh, do ocelots drop string? Hmm. There's nothing we can do about it right now. So I guess we kind of just could. I We could do two things. We could wait till spiders start spawning and we can kill those and then fish up some stuff and then tame an ocelot and then take it all the way back. Or we just come back at a later date. Oh, I found one again. Meow. Come here, meow. Um, these cows are a little stuck down here. Sorry, guys. Can I put them in a boat? Can I even place a boat down, though? Oh, I can. Oh, and the boat's gone. All right, whatever. Nope. They cannot get in the boats. What does he drop string? Give me your string. Give me your string. Oh, I killed them for no reason. Now I feel bad. Okay, well, I guess I'll just head home, and then I'll come back at a later date. Now let's see if I can get out of here. All right, and we reached the ocean. There we go. Now we just make a long trek back, and then come back when we have some fish. Boom. All right, now we get to sit in a boat for about five minutes. Let's go. So fun. And we have reached the shore of our homeland after five minutes, just like I had said. So exciting and so fun. Boom. All right, and we're off. We should just run this way a little bit, and there it is. Perfect. Oh, and there's a barrage of monsters waiting for me in my house. Goodbye. I guess that means it's daytime. Okay, and you're coming out of nowhere. Monsters are actually crazy in this version. Or in any version below, like, 1.12. Just makes no sense. They're a bunch of monsters. I mean, we have nothing to our name from that trip, but we made the trip, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I think I'll continue to go and get some sugar cane just until it turns night, and then I'll go and make a fishing rod, and I'll do all all that stuff. I mean, the point of the next five days is to do as much as you can within the update. Maybe I get a head start on the nether since I have all my diamond armor. There's some more sugar cane right here. See, and it's going to be pretty easy to get all the sugar cane grown. I'm not really in any rush. I guess we can get all of our wheat as well. All of the wheat's more for just animals because I'm not really worried about any food. Boom. A whole lot of sugar cane. We're going to we're gonna let that culminate over there. And then once we're ready, we'll mine it right up. We'll mine it right up and make it into some books. All right, all right. Let me get a bunch of cobblestone and head right into the nether. I think that's the perfect decision. We will hopefully be just fine over there. Um, yeah, I think that's basically all we need. We're gonna go to those nether fortresses. Where were those fortresses at? I think, um, I'm pretty sure there was one over there and one over there, but I guess the render distance was decreased from the last couple updates. Yeah, we'll, we'll go start from right here. And we have to be really careful of the gas. That's, the, that's literally the only thing that could hurt us in here. This is before any zoglins, hoglins, or anything. And so as long as we watch out for those, we should should be golden. Oh. And we're gaming. But there is the nether fortress, so we were right to go this way. Alright, so we've made it, but it's all in the fact of how do I get down there? There we go. Get rid of all of this fire. Don't want to die, you know. Dying's kind of like not good. And then I can I can build a little staircase up and down. Now we just go and head over to the fortress. I will probably just go to this one right here. I'll connect the fortress to the ground. Right, clearly there's nothing that way. But there is a hallway right here. And so we're just going to go and check out this fortress. I already hear a bra braze. Bro, what? I already hear a blaze. Let's just go for it. Go for it. Ow. 
Okay. They give me a rod, but that hurts quite a bit. Why did that hurt so much? All right, now we're all good with that. Where to next? This way has nothing to block that off. What's going on up here? Oh, is this the other one? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and that's that's a couple of blazes. Okay. Hello, Magma Cube. Goodbye, Magma Cube. Well, now we kind of know. We haven't found a blaze spawner yet, but I'm sure there is one somewhere over here. But I'd rather not explore it yet just because I don't have any potions or anything, but now I can make potions because I got the blaze rod. So, you know, I will go and grab one of these glowstones because the redstone lamp is one of the new blocks that we can get. And it's a main feature of this update. So might as well. Now, if we can find our way out of here, we'll be game. And all we do is just hop across our big old bridge. Here we go, nether. Here we go. And we hop in the portal. I think it's going to be nighttime too. Ugh. Yup. Very dark and very nighty. Well, let's get inside and craft some new things. I think we do a brewing stand just like so. There we go. And this was before you actually needed blaze powder. I can literally just make, make anything. I might have to go back. I will have to go back and get another wart. But other than that, we're all good. I can make glowstone like this. And if I get my redstone, I could surround it by redstone and boom, we get our redstone lamp. Let me replace this with that. It would look pretty cool. And speaking of mobs, there's spiders outside. We can finally get our string. If we get a string. We already have 18. So I don't know what I was what I was worried about. I'm actually gonna take a nap ski really quick move over to day number 14 Get all that out the way. Boom. Okay. Yes We need to go and get some nether wart so we can actually make potions and magma cream would be really nice So we have some fire resistance. Oh, you just scared the crap out of me. I'm not I, I don't want to fight you I'm sorry make our fishing rod boom and let's make a bow too. it will come in handy. We already have 18 arrows Okay, I guess first we'll actually go ahead and get the ocelots so we can fish a little bit and then grab them We can go over here and cast the rod out for a little bit. I wonder how different fishing was back in the day. I don't remember if they have the bubbles going up to it and you hit it or if it's just, it just goes down and you just hit it. I don't know. Oh, did that shoot over my head? What? Well, I mean, I got a fish, but that's cool. I forgot it's the raw fish. There's no raw cod or raw salmon. It's just the fish. That's so cool. I think what we're going to do, we're going to at least get 10 before we head over there. We can obviously get more while we're there if we need to, but I'd rather be able to feed all of it to one certain ocelot instead of 10 to one. And then it's, oh, hey, I need more and then have to find them again or just get more. Whatever. I think 10 will be plenty. Dang. You saw how fly that fish flew? What? All right, one more fish to go. I've pretty much spent all of the daylight fishing, which is not, not very good, but it must be done before day number 15. 10 fish. All right. I think we can just go ahead and build a boat and then head that way. All right. Now let's head off into the sunset. Looks so pretty. So cute. Now we just head in this direction for about 3,000 blocks and then, and then we're there. Let's go. Hooray. You know, for some reason, this is oddly peaceful and I do not mind it, honestly. I mean, the moon, the stars, the water, the old boat. Just everything. Which is very simplistic. Even though it is annoying that a biome, or any land for that matter, is 3,000 blocks away. But, that's okay. And boom, there is the jungle. We're here for one thing and one thing only. It is our little furry friend. Alright, let's get our fish out and start finding these little kitties. You know, it took me quite a second to find the ocelots last time, so I'm feeling I'm gonna have the same thing here. Oh my goodness, there he is. There is one of our furry little friends. Come here, little kitty. How many fish is it going to take? I want to know. Oh. oh. Wait, what? Are you saying I cannot tame you? Do I have to not be hungry? He's a black cat. Look at him. He's so cute. We shall call him Meow Meow Man. All right, Meow Meow Man, come with me. We're going home. I'm pretty sure he should just be able to come with us, right? He'll just start teleporting in the water. At least he should. All right, and we found our boat. And let's see if this guy wants to follow us. He's stuck in the leaves. Hopefully, he doesn't stay there. He's just going to teleport. Um, well, I saw him, and then he disappeared, and then he's not here. Can he not swim? You know what? Maybe if I reach the other land, he will teleport on the land. Because he can't teleport while he's in the wa on the water. What? I don't know. We're just going to go back. I can see if he's there he's there if he's not whatever he's still gonna be over here mr meow meow man is secure and safe uh but yeah i don't see him behind me so hopefully he just teleports to me i don't know and maybe we have to go back and make him sit and then get him back whenever we go back i said back like 20 times just now i guess what i'm trying to say is if he doesn't follow me whenever i can bring him back in a boat i come back for him because he's always just gonna be there he's still my cat after all all right let's test it over here all right let me get out mr meow meow man going to teleport no that's fair enough I'll go back and sit him over there and then I'll get him whenever I need to. Boom. Meow. All right. I will see you little guy in like 
I don't know, 30 days? Bye bye. But it is almost the start of day number 16. So that means a new update. We're moving on to 1.3. And we our home. We are home. So in Minecraft's 1.3 release on August 1st, 2012, the main features of the update were villager trading, desert temples, jungle temples, emeralds, and inner chests. So the next five days, we'll focus on finding a desert and a desert temple, and hopefully a desert village. You want to at least trade with one villager and at least get one emerald. So yeah, we might have to travel a lot, but it'll be worth it. And let's go find out where our thing is. Um, I'm not quite sure where I've been and what I haven't been. I'm pretty sure I've not been that way though. So let's just continuously go that way. There is a desert over in that direction, but you know, we've already discovered it. So, I mean, we can't do anything about it. I'm pretty sure this is the time where I started playing Minecraft. I mean, the Xbox 360 edition released around 2012. And that's what I grew up on. And it was pretty fun, honestly. I remember all the times I played with my friends, with my family. It was just a good pastime. And just like, it's a, it was part of my childhood. And it was very nice. Speaking of the Xbox 360, I made a video about me playing 100 days of Minecraft on the Xbox 360 edition. So if you want to go check that out, it's on my channel. But you should watch it after this video. And there's there's another jungle, so we might be able to find a jungle temple, honestly. Okay, we can scour the jungle real quick. Just right on the outside, see if we can see any temples. Even nowadays, they're pretty rare, so I'm still not sure. Oh, and my boat just smokes these lily pads. And either this is just some world corruption, or this is some pretty cool generation. I'm not sure. Well, this jungle seems pretty big, so let's get out right about here, and let's go explore what this jungle has to offer. Finding one of the two temples would be pretty great, but I have a feeling the jungle temple might be a little harder to find and if so there is a desert right over there so we're in a very good spot maybe we can find both and i do notice in this version chickens now spawn in the jungle instead of the cows that were in the last version which that's how it is today i'm pretty sure it's chickens and then parrots and obviously ocelots i feel like the jungle is definitely a heavily overlooked biome nowadays when it was out it was cool and you were a kid and you'd build a big old tree house in the jungle but now it's like now you're like oh the wood's not as good and all this kind of stuff so yeah i'm not i'm not really seeing anything but they do now have cocoa beans on the trees. I just noticed that. In 1.2, new we into the jungle for the first time, there were no cocoa beans. But sadly, there is no jungle temple in here, so we will move on to the desert. Hopefully, we'll have some more luck over there. Like I said, the rarity of desert temples are not as rare. What am I saying? As I was saying, desert temples aren't as rare. Especially nowadays, since the in the newer versions of Minecraft, jungles are extremely rare, and deserts not so much. Now, this thing seems to be pretty big. So let's go ahead and explore. And this is something you never see nowadays. I think that was just part of old Minecraft, where they would always have the like spawn lake true something in the code. And so there would always be lakes everywhere, no matter what biome it is. But I'm pretty sure that cannot happen now. Pretty sure water lakes cannot happen in the desert anymore. It's mostly just lava. And so speak of the lava just over there so it doesn't look like there's anything this way so let's continuously go to the other side which also seems to be an empty promise as well and yeah no luck from the desert or the jungle but we can still go find a village and try to start trading some things this is back when there was no profession tables and every profession just has to be spawned like the buildings have to be in the village for them to spawn which i'm not entirely sure how that all worked but Oh, that could have been bad. Oh, I'm a gamer though. That was right in the face. Well, we've kind of been running all night and we have not found a single thing. So we might get in a boat and head across this ocean there. There we go. Plop that down and let's set sail. Or not. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. We already found land, but that's not the land we're looking for, all right? It's also pretty interesting to look at the bottom of the ocean. There's no big caves or anything like that. Um, I wonder what that is over there. I don't know why there's light in the water, but it might be an underground lava lake. Why'd the boat just break? Or why? All right, I guess I'll have to go craft another one. Ah, ooh, you died pretty fast in the water. Oh my goodness. All right, we're all good. We're a bunch of gamers. So let's head back in the boat and go north, south, this way. I don't know what the, whatever. Onward. That, is that land? It's another jungle. Wow. And whatever that is. Well, I guess we're going to get a second chance at the jungle temple. I'm not complaining. I guess when it's one of the seven biomes in the game, they're pretty easy to find. We're going to dock right about here. The sun is setting for day number 17, but we're going to... 
Thank you. And we are heading onward. Hopefully we can find this jungle temple. I mean, surely it can't be that rare, right? Oh, well, I guess they might be that hard to find. Because this jungle was not very big. One. And two, it didn't have a temple. But that's okay. We press onward. Oh, but there's another jungle up here. All right. Third time's the charm, right? And this one seems a little bit bigger than the last one. Oh, I found the cows again. But I did not find the jungle temple again. You know, when the lytra comes out, I'm getting it immediately. I'm gonna make this video so much easier. Luckily, there is a desert right next to it. So we can go and explore that. Hopefully it's not too small. That's what she said. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We found one. We found a desert temple. It's kind of just in the middle of a mountain side. We can go and loot it nonetheless. All right. We got to be ready to fight. I guess there's literally nothing in here. I guess it's all above me. Oh, this was back when this was wool. Now this is all concrete. This wool right now. I forgot about that. That's crazy. Well, we can go down here and grab the good loot. We don't want to just jump down because of the pressure plate. Destroy that right there. And then just for safe measure, destroy all of the TNT. And then we can see what we got. I know enchant golden apples are finally in this version as well as emeralds are. And we can get diamonds in here too. So let's see what's up. Okay. Interesting stuff. Chest number two. Some more interesting stuff. Number three. That was garbage number four that is also just garbage all right well sorry to let you guys down but what did you what do you expect honestly 13 gold three iron nine tnt a pressure plate and a bunch of bones so yeah all right time to go back up oh they're all up there oh good thing i didn't die all right let's get out of here and that was one of the many things we need to do in this update so we have the temple crossed off our list now what we want to do is obtain emeralds and find a village now before i render ugh, now before I ugh, now before I look at the rest of this desert, I'm gonna go through this plains biome. Hopefully there is a village in here because I know they can spawn in plains, maybe deserts, and maybe taiga biomes. But I don't think there's not a snowy taiga or snowy tundra. What I'm saying is wherever there's spruce trees, there's snow. There's never spruce trees and no snow. That might be a little bit of a challenge, but we've got a couple more days. But yet again, another fail. Let's go all the way back to that desert. All right, we found the desert again, and let's continue. To <laughs> right, we found the desert again now let's continue to explore oh, oh there's another jungle i mean we could go and look for a jungle temple but mm, i don't know i really just want to find a village and then i'll call it a day but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen let's run through this swamp a little bit oh well what do you know we found another jungle surely this one has a temple in it right um uh, nope it's the smallest jungle i've ever seen all right we're out of here we're going to explore the ocean boom and let's set sail we've already found some more land but i'm looking for a plains or something i guess a forest isn't a bad place to start we'll get there and we'll just start chopping i mean not trees but like running you know like it's the lingo with the kids these days right like no cap or Bussin or Riz. You know, you got W Riz. Is that what them kids are saying these days? I don't know. Wait. Oh my goodness. Give me dog. I have dog. All right. Let's go. No, no, don't. <gasps> Did he just kill my dog? Why? Why would Why would he do that? Well, he's replaceable, so. Come on, doggy. Love me. Thank you. You're my new friend. Now I have a companion. Let's go. And I see another jungle. I'm tired of those things. I don't want to see another jungle. I don't want to see another jungle. Guess we can just slowly pass it by. Um, I think the dog had the same problem as our cat, as it is not with us. R.I.P. the homie. I will not be coming back for you. But is that another desert? Um, no, it's not. Uh, I mean, it, I, it kind of is. There's plenty though oh okay mojang's cooking right now let him cook more land okay i guess we just get out here let's see what this island has to offer on day number 18 i continued looking for a village while i did some more boating around i ended up finding a desert village and a desert temple right next to each other the desert temple didn't have too much and the village had not too much either I ended up finding a farmer and i got enough wheat to trade him for an emerald so i got my one emerald that i needed other than getting the books from the librarian that's all i had to do in the village and i didn't really want it to be nighttime on the road so i made a bed and went to sleep at the start of day 19, I went ahead and went into the jungle and see if I can find a jungle temple. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what that is, but it's there. And after exploring half the jungle, I found nothing. So I went back and discovered the other, 
other, other half, all right? And of course, we found nothing on the other side as well. I mean, we ran into a snow biome. I wasn't really sure what to do, so I kept just running in the desert, hoping I found something. Ultimately, I decided I probably should head back to my base. It's around 10,000 blocks away, but I better start now so I could be there for the next update. We're picking up what I'm putting down, and we set sail one last time. Not, It's not the last time. We do this so many times, but one last time in this update. Whatever. Boom. A whole half a day later, we are back. Sleepy time, sleepy time. On to day number 20. Let's go. And on day number 20, I started off by assessing the situation. I made my bookshelves that I needed, and I started to prepare for the next update. For some reason, I planted this jungle sapling, even though I don't like jungle wood. And on this last day of this update, we go down to the mines to find more diamonds for the nether and all that kind of stuff. And we did end up finding diamonds. Oh my goodness. Even though it was only two, I'll take what I can get. Uh, that's more than zero, obviously. And with those diamonds, there were more diamonds because there's a, just a big old cave that we went through. And on this, I ended up finding six whole diamonds, which was just enough to do everything that I needed to do. And so there was nothing else in the cave. So we just went back with seven, eight, eight, eight diamonds to our name. Let's go. When we got back to the base, I assessed my situation by making the rest of my diamond tools and then went over to the next day. And now on the start of day number 21, we're in the 1.4 update. Now the 1.4 release is called the pretty scary update the main features of this update are wither skeletons anvils beacons and bats the smaller features that it brings are potatoes carrots pumpkin pie flower pots and item frames now with that all being said that means the wither is an actual mob in the game now because we we can get wither skeletons now and a beacon is a thing but i will take a vote and say that we will not fight the wither we'll just get a wither skeleton skull and call it good because i don't want to die but what i will do is craft an anvil even though it's going to take all of my iron and boom and the next thing we will do is go to our nether fortress and farm some wither skeletons to get that big old wither skeleton skull i got to the fortress and i set up a little bit and got to grinding and while we were farming wither skeletons we ended up finding our nether wart to make our potions we ended up not finding any wither skeleton skulls so we just headed back and assessed the potion situation now started by making fire resistance potions so i could not die in the lava in the nether and so blazes didn't do as much damage and then I hit the haste key to go over to day number 22. And let's go. It's off to the nether. And the hunt for a wither skeleton continues. And I never really realized how dark the game is until I was in the nether. So I turned my brightness up and it looks so much better. And after searching for literally the whole day, I finally got one. You couldn't really see it because I was on fire, but I did get it. And after a long day in the nether, I decided to head back. And then when I got back, I found out that my fence gate was glitched. It's not a big deal, but I thought it was pretty funny. And of course, I had to show off the new Wither Skeleton Skull. Why wouldn't I? And then I hit the snoozer again to go on to day number 23. And boom, day number 23. To start the day off, I used 30 of my levels to enchant my pickaxe, and I get pretty good odds. That was, I mean, I'm happy with this pickaxe. It's pretty good. I'd rather a fortune than silk touch, but I'll take what I can get. And I forgot about the really sucky part is that I have no levels now. That update where it doesn't take 30 levels it takes only three it has not came out yet so we'll have to get 30 more levels and what better thing to do than go test it out down in the mines see how fast i can mine some obsidian and get more obsidian so i can build another nether portal somewhere so i can go find a village hopefully because i need carrots and potatoes you're picking up what i'm putting down i went up and grabbed some well needed materials before i headed out into the nether i dug in a straight line and settled the portal right here and jumped right through it and we ended up spawning in a moose room biome that was in the middle of nowhere and the cool we had to see hello to the cows but yeah the location wasn't the best but it was a better direction so i built a boat and i started traveling and after a little while we ended up finding some land which didn't look very promising but we continued to tread on anyways on my way though i did discover that there are zombie villagers they kind of look funny honestly because it's just a zombie body with a head that's green what am i saying you know what i'm saying right it's just the villager head but he's just green and he doesn't have a suit on or anything it's just the normal whatever i thought it was very interesting and on the start of day 24 we found some new land but it turns out that's not that good and apparently i was going in the wrong direction because i ended up finding my base it was definitely a little upsetting but it's i can learn from it now so i decided to clear out my inventory and then head out again and go in the right direction this time i did decide to go in a different direction so i could get a better spawn in the portal and i don't know if i screwed myself because this spawn is not good 
whatsoever. So I decided to not do that and then dig further because I'm not trying to go out in the ocean like that. And let's find out where this portal takes me. Oh. Ooh, this is a problem. I guess nether portaling into a dungeon is pretty cool, but I really had no use for it. I dug up into an ocean though, which is, I, I don't, I didn't want that. That's not cool. Can you guess what I did next? Well, of course I made a boat and I traveled so many blocks in one direction. And day number 25 starts off with boating. Let's go. And on this day, it made me feel like I had an ocean only world because I did a lot of boating again. And as you can see, the sun is setting and I'm still in the boat. Mojang Thank you for fixing your game later on because this was a problem. And we're starting off day number 26 on a little deserted island. This is like the 50th I've seen while I'm trying to find a village. Now the 1.5 update is called the Redstone Update, which came out on March 13th, 2013. And the main features of this update are hoppers, redstone blocks, trap chests, redstone comparators, quartz blocks, and daylight sensors. Now with that being said, we're not really going to worry about any of that because we have all that stuff at our base. So we're going to still look for that village. And to add to the boating frustration, you can apparently break your boat by hitting a squid. Who would have known? And guess what? It's already nighttime because we've been boating all day and we cannot find anything. No land at all. I just want land. It doesn't have to be a villager. Oh, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. And do you see that? That's the sun rising. Oh my goodness. And now we're officially on day number 27. I've seen maybe 50 little islands, but no actual land. It's just, it's crazy to me. I don't understand. And believe it or not, after two days of boating, we finally found some land. Never mind. I lied. There's, there's no nothing over here. Hmm. At least we had a little bit of hope there for a second. I mean, I skipped a couple steps here, but we're finally back at our house. I was just so tired of traveling, so I came back. I immediately went and took a nap with a Ruski because I wanted to go on to the next day. Now that we're back at our base on day number 28, we're going to go ahead and craft all the things for the redstone update now that we have all the things for the redstone update. Firstly, we built a redstone block, and then I realized we need quartz for pretty much everything that we need to build, so let's go inside the nether. But we did build a triple wire hook and a trap chest before we went because that was pretty easy and now we head into the nether i loaded some new chunks and found some nether quartz and then i got the heck out of there mate because i'm not trying to stay and die to a ghast and i might have done something forbidden i smelted the nether quartz ore instead of just using a pickaxe i don't know if that's frowned upon i don't care it was uh, yeah whatever and then i found out the disturbing truth that to repair your enchanted tools is a lot more expensive in levels than if it wasn't enchanted so that was not fun. Anyways, I went back in my house and crafted the daylight sensor, followed by the redstone comparator, and we can't forget the quartz block, and we're gonna go ahead and catch some Z's for day number 29. And for some reason, to start off day number 29, I made a weighted pressure plate. I guess that was part of the update, but it didn't even work, so it was kind of useless. And we need a couple more pieces of iron to finish our update items. I mean, what we're going for is the hopper. And after collecting the iron, I went back up to make the hopper. There's not really too much to say about that. It's just the hopper. And then I might have been taking a dump or something. I don't know. I'm just sitting here for the rest of the day. We didn't really have anything left to do in this update, so I decided to sleep and then try to build a house tomorrow. And this is day number 29 part 2. Um, yeah, there's no day counter, so I still kind of messed up a little bit, but it's fine. The goal of today and tomorrow, though, is still to build that new house. So we're going to start off by chopping some trees down. And after chopping so many trees down, flattening out an area, and getting prepared to build our house, it's nighttime, so we, we can't really do much. We went with the basic style, obviously, you know, because I'm not creative whatsoever. But I was just glad we had a base done, and then the rest of it will be for tomorrow. And since it was pretty dark and a lot of mobs were out, I decided to go to bed and head over to day number 30. And on the start of day number 30, we started back on our house started off with the second story pillars and then i made the walls for the second story and then i realized i messed up so i had to tear some of it down and i mean that looks a little better but it doesn't look quite correct i think i just leave it though i made it look a little better by adding some more texture but after i did all that i ended up meeting more cobblestone so i just went ahead and went to bed for the next update and now on day 31 we're officially in the 1.6 update also known as the horse update and could you guess what the main feature of this update is it's horses of course, what else would it be? But it also does bring leads, coal blocks, and carpets. So with that being said, what do we do? We set out to find our horse. And you would think you could be able to find a horse in a plains biome, but I guess since it is part of a newer update, the old chunks can't generate a new mob, which is kind of, I mean, it doesn't make really much sense to me. I understand why, but why couldn't they just make it 
spawn everywhere. When I was playing this, I didn't really realize that, so I thought maybe the mob cap was already taken. So I decided to kill all these cows, and I basically wasted my first day of the update, which really isn't a big deal because the only thing in this update that we need to do is find a horse, so we have five days to do so. And so a stack of steak later, I kind of realized my fault, and I went home and slept it off before I headed out to find that horse. And on the start of day number 32, I looked again because I didn't really fully understand that they will not spawn here. And after wasting a couple minutes on that, I came home and made a lead because that is part of the update and it'll help me get a horse. And after realization hit, I figured our only option was to go through the nether and load new chunks. I decided it was best to keep going straight on one of the paths that I made and build more out and then place a new portal. And what do you know? It spits me out over another ocean. Well, I know boats have been the bane of my existence this whole time. I will have to resort to using another one. And then I will boat off into the night. And on day number 33, our journey continues. And after realizing I was going the wrong direction, I turned around and went the right direction. The refreshing thing though was not too far in the right direction was some islands. So I docked up and I headed off to find the horse finally. It got a little dark so I decided to hit the hay and start again on day number 34. After seeing snow for about 5 minutes, I finally found a plains biome. And there were no horses, so I kept on going. Found a desert temple before I found a horse, and it had some pretty good loot in it, so I snagged that up. And for the rest of the day, I had no luck still, so I went to bed again so I didn't die to any mobs, and continued the search on day 35. And boom, it's day 36, not day 35, because somehow my days got messed up again. Let's go. And just a forewarning, that does not really matter in anything, because at the end of the day, it will say day 100 on day 100, so that is all that matters. Anyways, let me introduce the 1.7 update titled the update that changed the world. Now you're saying schmizzle, what about the horses? This update does not change anything about the horses because this update adds 11 different biomes that we can explore. And that is basically it. It's just a world generation overhaul and a biome overhaul. I did get my skin back though, but just my face, not my arms. This was one of the first updates. They started doing sprite changes and sound changes, which is pretty cool. Not too far from where we started the update, we already see world corruption and we immediately found one of the new biomes, the acacia biome, which is pretty cool. I mean, I don't personally like it, but it is new. And then continues our search for the horse. And yet again, while doing that, we found another desert temple, which had some pretty good loot as well. And then the search for a horse continues. And our search for horses concludes. I tamed one and he wasn't very fast and he couldn't jump that high, but I decided to keep him for now. And on the way out, I found a village. So one thing I didn't get from previous updates were carrots and potatoes. And guess what this place had? Potatoes and carrots. And that was basically it. So me and my horse headed on to our new spot. It was getting dark though. So I went ahead and slept to head on to the next day. On the dawn of day number 37, I decided we need to settle somewhere else because our original base is way too far away from new chunks. So we need something new. And on the way to find that new land, we found more horses. And I decided to tame one and take both of them home because the horse I'm on now is pretty slow. And then me and my two horses were all to the races. After a while, we came across the forest we were in earlier and I decided to build my base right in the middle of it because there are so many directions that I can go from here that are new chunks. I built a little pen to trap my horses in and then I started to clear out an area for my new base. When it got dark, I set up a little station and then I went to bed. On the start of day number 38, I admired me and my horses. Since this update was devoted towards new islands and new terrain generation, I decided to build my base for the next couple of days and fully establish myself because I'm going to explore in the future. So this update will kind of be explored throughout the whole entire 100 days. And with that being said, I just continued to mine out grass. And then I did the tree chopping. While I was chopping the trees, I found this little piggy and decided to give him a home. And I started a little farm because you never know when we need some crops. And what would my little base be without some cows? And the cows made me realize how bad pigs actually are. So yeah, I realized I'm going to need some more diamonds for a lot of things. So I need to go mining. And what do you know? Right below our new base is a mine shaft. How crazy is that? We ended up finding a mine cart with a chest and it had pretty much nothing in it but it was still cool and then we found another one and this one was so much better having two diamonds in it and after mining copious amounts of iron we ended up rolling over to day number 39 we spent the majority of day number 39 in the cave as well trying to get as much resources for our new base as possible and then we dug straight up and we dug up not too far from our base
place and went home and assessed our situation. I had quite the plethora of ores, so I got home and started smelting it. And then this is where I contemplated going 14,000 blocks back to my base and getting all the loot there and bringing it back here. I mean, I don't see why not. I also saw my diamond pick was a little low, so I needed to make an anvil to repair it. And then I found it literally says too expensive on it, so I can't even repair it. I decided to spend my three diamonds on another pickaxe. Before I decided to go and get all my stuff, I decided to go ahead and build a base here. Bam, there we go. Just like all the other houses I build, but it's still a house. And I realized what I did wrong, so I fixed it. And we continue with the build on day number 40, the last day of the update. And one day later, our house is ever so slightly closer to being finished. And I decided to sleep in my new uncomplete house and head over to day number 41. So on day number 41, we're officially on the 1.8 release of Minecraft, also known as the Bountiful update. The main features of this update are ocean monuments, slime blocks, granite, andesite, and diorite, as well as rabbits and endermites. Some of the other features of this update consist of sheep mud and finally, armor stands, coarse dirt, iron trap doors, banners, and enchanting finally requires lapis lazuli. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to the ocean that we did not discover and try to find that ocean monument. So let's grab our boat and head out. And here we go again. I just love the ocean. It's so great. We are not just looking for an ocean monument though. We're going to look out for the three new stone types as well as rabbits. And this ocean got cut pretty short and so I guess it's on to the dry land. And boom, the old rabbits. I You have not seen this type of rabbit in forever. They don't spawn here anymore. This is kind of crazy for me to find. I mean, obviously I'll find it in 1.8, but nowadays you don't see this anymore. After that little pit stop, we hopped back in the boat because we found an actual ocean this time. Within literal seconds, you can already see more land spawning. So you can tell that the update that changed the world is actually working. And quite literally within the same day, we already found it. Now I'll get close enough to get mining fatigue but I'm not going in there. I'm not I'm not gonna die. Do you want me to die? I'm on, I'm on day 41. I'm not dying yet, but that does count. You can't say that doesn't count. We saw it. We experienced it. That counts. And then we spent the rest of the day heading back. On the start of day number 42, I built the armor stand. And of course, I had to deck it out with some armor. And we went ahead and made the coarse dirt as well. And the last part of this update was go and find the granite, the diorite, and the andesite. Came across our best friend and then used our other best friend to go across our best friend. You're picking up what I'm putting down. And within the hour, we found all three right in one little cave. And then I headed back home. I mean, because, I mean, that's all I needed to do. And on the way back, we farmed some slimes to get those balls so we can finally make a slime block, which is the last thing that we need in this update. I even ended up getting my first ender pearl, which I realized we're going to need a lot of. When we got home, we made the slimy of blocks and of course we end off the eventful day with a little nap days 43 and 45 will be geared towards building up our base the only thing left in the update is finding an endermite and i cannot afford to waste ender pearls right now so we will have to skip out on that and further the base production we start chopping some more trees down because we need some more wood for the roof i decided that the outside will be cobblestone and the inside will be wood but yes that means we have to mine some more cobblestone and after a lot of preparing we finally had all of our resources so we got to building just gotta add these last couple blocks and we're done and there's the finished product all we have to do is do the roof walls and, and we're done so the long day we ended it with some rest and as we wake up on day number 45 okay I, I skipped another day i don't know how or why but i did it's not a big deal once again but anyways on day number 45 i knew i only had one more thing to do and that was finish my house i decided to see what the house would look like with wood on the middle part you know looking at it it's not that bad i kind of like it i'm i I'm, I'm too lazy to destroy it again so it'll be like that forever and boom half a day later my base is fully complete i just gotta move some of the stuff inside the house and after setting up my downstairs area and setting up our storage system i took a nap and headed over to day number 46 and welcome to one of the biggest updates minecraft has ever had the 1.9 update also known as the combat update so obviously the combat is different now in minecraft but the bigger things are there's that bar when you swing like it's kind of like a hit cooldown almost there's an offhand slot where you can put shields shields are new this is also the update that they added the end cities and the elytras shulker boxes basically everything that came with the new end overhaul and my good friend the boat has finally changed and of course we had to get a shield already so over the next five days we will focus on getting to the ender dragon fight beating him and getting our elytra and discovering some end cities one of the biggest preparations we're going to need is enchanting our armor and tools and to start that off i can find my efficiency for unbreaking three silk touch pickaxe with my regular pickaxe to make it full durability and since my enchantment table and all my stuff is still back on my other base i think this is the correct 
time to go back and do that. The thing I struggled with was do I find the end pole from my old base or do it from my new base? Because I don't want to render too many new chunks, but at the same time, I want it to be relatively close to my new base. So I ultimately decided to go back to the old base, get all the stuff, and then come back to the new base, set up, and then figure out stuff then. So day 46 and 47 consist of a lot of traveling, and with that being said, we did find a Badlands biome on the way back to our portal. It took all day, but we eventually found our portal and headed back home. But obviously, there's a little problem right here, right? The portal wasn't lit for some whatever reason, and so I have to go all the way back and get my flint and steel. It might have taken all night, but we ended up getting it, and now we can finally go into the nether, and it decided to spawn us at a different portal, which is fan-freaking-tastic. It took a while, but we ended up finding the road that we built across through all the nether portals. So then it was just as easy as going straight and going back to our home portal. And the funny thing is, is I loaded up and then I went straight back. And this is what most of our day 47 looks like. And just when you thought you made it, you have a whole ocean to cross. And don't forget all the snowy land. And after two whole days, we finally arrived back at our house. We quickly got everything sorted out and then the fun part begins. Not really. I, that was just a joke. It's not fun at all. I preemptively made rockets for my elytra whenever I get it. And I decided to set my enchantment table up in my backyard. Which, I mean, I don't really have a backyard, but in the back of my house. Now our first objective is to get more ender pearls. So if I do remember correctly, endermen spawn a lot more in deserts than any other biome. Or they just might be easier to spot in deserts. I don't know. But that's how we'll be farming them. And I must have remembered correctly because there were two endermen just chilling right here. The upsetting part, though, is I didn't get an ender pearl from either one of them. This guy was nice enough to drop one of his balls, though. And just when I thought things couldn't get any better, we found a village, which so happened to have a cleric in it. And if you don't know, clerics sell ender pearls for emeralds. On top of that, not even halfway into the night, we already have four ender pearls. I continued to slay the endermen throughout the night and still only had four ender pearls by morning. I knew we had to find another way to get more ender pearls, and I went and found the cleric in the village, and so I'm going to start trading. I saw to lock him in and then see what other trades everyone else had. This butcher had a trade for pork chops for an emerald, so I decided to kill so many pigs so I can get so many emeralds. Honestly, I pretty much devoted my whole entire day to killing pigs so I can get so many emeralds. It was going to be five emeralds for an interpearl, so we're going to need quite a bit. And for about 7 minutes of work, we got 10 emeralds, which isn't too bad, considering that we'd have no direct way of getting them, which that means it turns into 2 ender pearls, which is pretty good in my opinion. Now it is nighttime, so that means we can farm more ender pearls from the source, and about halfway through the night, we finally got another one. This was day 49, so I was trying to speed some stuff a little bit, so I decided to go ahead and go with 8, see if that was enough. I went ahead and made our eyes of ender, and then got some more trading stuff, so I can potentially get some more ender pearls before we head out. On top of all that, we had 30 levels to enchant one piece of our armor and we got a pretty nice chest plate and then on the start of day number 50 the official halfway point of these 100 days i went back to the village and tried to trade for some more ender pearls and in the process i found this amazing mending villager and keep in mind this was before you can reroll any of the trades i got him just out of the blue i ended up being able to get two more ender pearls to make a grand total of 10 eyes of ender which i had a feeling wasn't going to be enough but i thought i'd try it anyways with that being said i went back assessed my situation and then finally headed out to find that end portal and half a day later we approached the island that the end portal is underneath and after clearing out all the mobs i decided to dig down and see what was waiting for me bam and we're in the end portal wait that doesn't make that doesn't make sense and since we finally found the stronghold all we have to do is oh Never mind, it's right here. Good news is, is we already found it. Bad news is, is we need two more eyes of ender to complete the portal. In the meantime, I set up a chest and then decided to assess our situation from there. I decided we should explore our stronghold first because there are chests that could have ender pearls in them. And I did end up finding one of the two that we needed, so that was pretty relieving. But that was the only chest out of the whole stronghold that actually had one. But I knew we were going to have to find an enderman to kill and hopefully get lucky with an ender pearl. And while we were down here, the game changed over to day number 51. Now we are in the 1.10 update, also known as the Frostburn update. This update brought polar bears, magma blocks, strays, and husks, and it also brought bone blocks, nether war blocks, and red nether bricks. Although it's small, it's pretty good because that means we don't have to do that update now. We can finish our end update. We will end up getting it to it later whenever we can. And with that being said, one ender pearl is standing in the way of us reaching the ender dragon, beating it, and getting our elytra. So let's get on to that. And I'll be completely transparent. Day 51 was wasted. I went in all the caves around the stronghold 
world. Found a bunch of Endermen, never got a single Ender Pearl. Then when I went up, it was raining, so I couldn't even fight them at night. So here we sit on day number 52. And guess what? Even throughout all day 52, we couldn't find one single one. We did find a husk though, so I guess that is part of the update that we're in. So like, I mean, we win there. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really feel good wasting days, especially since our time is actually limited. And day 53 wasn't much different, except for the fact that we did get an Ender Pearl. You can kind of tell how fed up I was. I just, I, I saw it, got it, collected it, and then skedaddled. I was done. And then we got back to the end portal for one last triumph. What am I saying? And then we got back to the end portal for one last time before we put the last Eye of Ender in. I placed the last Eye in, looked at the portal, and jumped in when I was ready. And on day number 44, we start the Ender Dragon fight. You know, this is nothing you haven't seen before. We hit a couple towers, we hit him in the tail, easy peasy lemon squeezy, and then we land the final hit, and then he's dead. And of course, we have to get our trophy. And then the thing that we were looking forward to the most is the end gateway. I built up to it and then threw our Ender Pearl in so we can go and find our elytra and if you remember back when the entities first came out they were extremely hard to find so i was prepared to be looking around for a while and closer to the end of day number 55 we found this puny little end city but i see it has a treasure room so let's go and loot it anyways and here's one of the new mobs that we found the shulker shulker boxes aren't actually in this version yet so it kind of threw me off a little bit and bam this loot kind of sucks now the other treasure room was a different story this place was stacked but we still needed to find another one because we want that sweet, sweet elytra. So on day number 55, we did just that. The place had some pretty good loot, but the main thing we were here for was the elytra. And there it is in all of its glory. That's going to help us a lot with the new updates. And I definitely miss this thing. Oh my goodness. I did realize though that in this version, you can't use rockets to fly, which kind of ruined it a little bit. On our way out of there, we ended up finding another end city, and I had another elytra. The loot in here was alright, but the end ship had single-handedly the best chest I have ever seen in Minecraft. And then we claimed our second elytra, and what would a trip to the end be without getting our ender dragon head? And we've been in the end for so long that it's officially day number 56, so that means a new update. Which means we updated Minecraft to the 1.11 update, which is the exploration update. The main features of this update are totems of undying, shulker boxes, llamas, and woodland mansions. And it also brings cartographer and nitwit villagers. I'm pretty sure the cartographer villagers just so you can find the little mansion easier. And finding out rockets actually work was very relieving. I found another end city, killed some shulkers to get my shulker box, and then I headed back home. When I got back, I admired all my good loot, and then I went to bed to head over to day number 57. Alright, it's day number 57. We got quite a bit of stuff that we can do. First things first, we can enchant some stuff. Well, I say we go ahead and enchant the sword. Fires back sharpness 4. And then we can combine these two. Looting three, sharpness five, fire spec two. We just need a breaking now. Uh, both these pickaxes will be our pickaxes. We just need fortune for that one. And then mending for this one. Uh, what's the next enchantment now? I'm breaking. Okay. Need that on a shovel, honestly. So let's go ahead and... Okay. <laughs> I mean... Now we don't need any of these shovels. That's literally the perfect shovel. Silk Touch would probably be a little better, but that's okay. Boom. Great shovel. That shovel will just be extra, I guess. Ooh, another part of this update is the shulker boxes, so we can go ahead and craft one of those right there. These things are pretty sick. And then what's next? Silk Touch. Hmm. You can't enchant the elytras, right? Yep. But we don't need pants. We don't really need a chest plate. We need a helmet. Let me let me make another helmet. Or do we do boots? Ooh. No, we need we need a helmet. We need a helmet. Let's test our luck with the helmet. I'll even take fire aspect three, honestly. Aqua affinity, boom. There we go. We can just put mending on that right there. That'll cost less right here. Basically a perfect helmet. Um, we need, just need on breaking on the boots. Feather Falling 4 is fantastic. The only thing we can kind of fix is our axe. We'll go ahead and make another axe just so we have that in the chest over there. Once we get enough, we'll enchant that bad boy. We also want to get our books so we can put on breaking on that elytra and mending once we get mending. But yeah, we're kind of stacked right now. What we want to do today is find a... We want to find a woodland mansion and llamas too. We know woodland mansions are quite literally one of the hardest things to find in the game so if we don't find it that's unfortunate Ooh, and food i need food all right golden carrots yes we can we'll have a couple of those oh that's where all my other stuff is we'll make all of these potatoes grow up what 
grow up what am i never mind put the dragon head right there oh and thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers i just hit that the other day and it means so much honestly i didn't think we'd hit it that fast in 2024 but we did in like two weeks so that's pretty huge anyways let's go i think we're gonna go that way a while we'll get all the sugar cane we can find and kill all the creepers we can find too just because we need them and there's a husk part of the update there we go you know the pretty cool thing about the mending that we need is that we already have a villager for it yeah the fact that this guy over here has mending it's kind of crazy this guy right here that's actually crazy now we head off find a woodland mansion oh boy this is so great actually i just said oh boy unironically all right <sighs> surprised you haven't clicked off the video yet don't please but oh we found another biome the mesa biome a spruce biome and a spruce village okay i don't know if those existed yet but there's a blacksmith Her. garbage all right yep bye bye oh boom there's llamas there's one of the things done let's go no dark oak forest yet all right i'm not finding one i don't like this uh oh get him get him get them boys get them that's crazy why why are the wolves not oh that's a creeper oh man all right i'm out all right, well day number 58 is starting and we have not found a wooden mansion yet so i guess we head out a little more just because we got some more rockets and we have 92 on that and then the full elytra so we can make more rockets if we need to and we can walk like we still have legs so and there's polar bears i don't know if we saw those yet let's go across this ocean see if there's anything over here oh another village um let's see if there's a cartographer here because i know they can sell maps like oh the cartographer nice he takes paper though okay i don't really like that just see if there's enough sugar cane over here there we go just enough boom boom Ow. All right, what do you got next for me, pal? Compass for an emerald. I need iron and redstone. That's not cool. What do I do about that? Let's dig down. Oh, one, two, three, four. Boom, already found our iron. Perfect. We should go down for redstone. I hear lava, and I just found diamonds. Um, well, let me get my silk touch pickaxe, why don't you? One, two, three, four five and i'll be taking those home well, that's a pleasant surprise now i guess we just dig straight we get some redstone oh there we go get a couple more so just we can make some more you know i only have six iron ore but that's okay we're gaming all right now we just gotta craft this and that down right there and we wait for that to smelt and then we game you know i probably could have prepared a lot better for this but I never claimed to be a smart man. Boom. What's the next thing? Nine for an empty map. That's that's something right there. I'll tell you that much. I think the best option is to go and mine iron, honestly. We just find a cave and just start munching on that iron. Should have brought an ender chest. Or we can get an ender chest, but that'll take a lot more than mining a bunch of iron. So, yeah. Oh, creeper. Aw, man. Ow. Hey. No iron in here. Any iron down in this cave? No. That's all right. Cool. Boom. Oh, you're not knocking me down there. No, uh, -uh. Right, this definitely got some down there, right? I am. I just got bamboozled. This is this is quite literally nothing. All right, so we get to slowly go up. Yay! Hooray! Hooray! All right! All right! All right! Any more iron down here? We already have seven more, and so that means two more compasses because we got two iron in the furnace. Very hard to see down here. Oh, more iron. One piece. All right, and we get much higher. Didn't help that I have a glare on my screen. Oh, then I know iron when I see it. Come on. That's four more compasses. All right. Oh, and there's more down here. Six more. Perfect. Now we can get six compasses, right? Now we just need one more. We need four more iron, but you know, this is probably all in vain just because, because I know the actual map, the mansion, it's going to be a lot more emeralds. And even if it's not a lot more emeralds, it's still more emeralds. So we still have to get more emeralds and so that's not cool let's kill some more skeletons because there are farmers over here there are other ways of getting emeralds because if we have so many bones and we can bone meal crops we're gaming oh and i get cooked food now very nice now it's day number 59 but we're ever so slightly closer to getting our desired thing oh so how we'll go about this we'll drop down in here throw that all in there but we don't need any of that anymore we can we can go and grab all these crops and whatnot but so if this is a farm oh fisherman where's the farmers at boom 
farmer needs wheat or potatoes or carrots or yeah wheat potatoes carrots okay we can literally take anything get all the bone meal right here our biggest bet is going to be potatoes boom 43 potatoes i think that'll get us to trades boom there we go now we can just make a couple of compasses boom there's six already let this iron smelt be cool if i could level this guy up without buying the other map but i don't think that's possible let me go and collect as many crops as we can though because i know there's another plot of farmland Ooh, this guy's only 15 boom now we have got 12 all right let's go over to our main man we're gonna need as many emeralds as we can get so let's might as well make a couple more compasses i did not so we have to buy one of these well, what does he have now ocean explorer map woodland explorer map okay let's say we don't need the ocean one we need the woodland so we need another compass oh no oh i didn't have to do that that's so unfortunate i need to go get some more iron for another compass and 16 more emeralds which i don't think that'll take that long it actually might but boom we got a nice map how else can we make some money so i know there's some clerics and some fishermen over here so we can kill a bunch of everything this is about to turn night so we can just go ahead and do that for you guys we have fishermen coal we do have looting on our swords so that'll help a lot clerics for run flesh i think it's settled then i think we just wait till night and just start killing everything but we do need to get oh we need to get more iron just four more pieces of iron then we're good then we get the rest of our emeralds from all this stuff now the only thing is going to find some sugar cane because in case you didn't know i still only have 11 rockets and these woodland mansions tend to be pretty far out so we just get as much sugar cane as possible we can make a bunch more rockets and the rockets you get three of them now instead of just one i'm pretty sure so that's not as big of a deal oh coal i can get coal oh my goodness fortune pick would be pretty cool right now i'll grab this sugar cane then i'll head back to the base not to the base what the village guys i don't know if you know this but my brain is kind of fried right now our first victims Oh, that didn't... Oh, I'm so glad I'm a gamer. All right, all right. All right, now we feast on the blood of our enemies. Ugh. Ooh, all right. 54 bones, enough str string for a trade, two coal. And we're now on day number 60. I know that day was very uneventful, but it needed to be done. We need mending on our chest plate fast. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and trade everything that we can already. Boom, one string trade. Boom, two coal trades. A bunch of sugar cane, though. We can turn some of that into paper for another emerald right here. Here. I don't mind doing that. I don't mind using 17 more coal for another emerald. Go to a cleric. Trade some of the run flesh away. Boom. Okay. And the rest we can get from potatoes. All right. Could you stop planting stuff, please? I did not mean to punch you. I'm so sorry. Actually, I don't care. Do that just one more time. All right. There's the farmer. I think we can get enough by just giving it to him. 16. Nice. Now we need three more pieces of iron. I forgot about that part. All right. I guess we go back down here and figure that out. I'm not sure how to go about finding iron down here, but we'll give it a good old honest try oh that's how you find iron you dig into a cave with iron right here there's only two pieces i need one more how crazy is that this should not be too hard though there we go boom all right now let's go back down and then go back up and then yeah you know just a couple slight detours all right teammates go back to our trusty library let me go ahead and make some more rockets too i'm pretty sure it's the new update where you can just boom and there's three of them nice almost three stacks of rockets that's that's great wonderful amazing then we can make our compass and then get our woodland explorer map thank you all right let's take this and then boom i don't know if y'all know how to read a uh, woodland explorer map but we're in the bottom right and it's very very small so we need to Ooh, i mean i know how to read it but do i do i know we need to see if this thing gets bigger or smaller if this gets bigger or smaller then we're going in the right direction oh there we go okay now we just go this way now we just go to the right we're on line with it so we just got to go this way however many blocks i hope this is the right direction boom another village okay let's go let's go check it out i mean there's a blacksmith so boom and there's another part of the update a nitwit garbage get out of here another village no blacksmith though not worth it okay i think the dot's getting bigger yes it is okay we're close three two one boom there it is in all its glory with the sheep on top wow these places are very dangerous i'll go ahead and go in i don't know if totems of undying exist yet but we will go ahead and find out let's get to gaming oh look at the cats oh oh that's not cool all right there's the vindicators oh there's an evoker all right, that kind of hurts. Okay, they drop emeralds still. That's pretty cool. So I also do have a bow. So why not? Let me just take this nice and slow. Um, okay, he died. Perfect. Does he have the totem? <gasps> he does. Totems do exist. Nice. Are there any more of those guys? Because, I mean, more totems is always great. Same with books. 
and flower pots i'll take the flower pots as well these things aren't as dangerous nowadays because things don't spawn in a light level of anything that light level has to be zero um and there is a zombie in a zombie villager with a shovel in full armor that's crazy i'm pretty sure there are chests up here Let's see what they got oh music disc okay that's new and another golden apple and some melon seeds i don't know if we have those yet but i will totally take those what else does this place got for me oh another chest room let's go what does this one got boom a diamond hoe i don't have that yet so that's actually i don't mind that at all and a name tag that's huge i can name my horse okay that's actually that actually was not a bad chest whatsoever that was pretty nice <gasps> A chicken. Look at the chicken. Do these things have something inside of them? Or am I just violating this chicken for no reason? Yeah, I'm sorry about you. I didn't mean it. I take it back. Right, well, that's all the stuff on the second floor. I know there's another floor, though. The bottom floor. There are some cool flowers here, though. I'll take the azure bluet. And then there's an anvil in here. Can I... Do I have any leather on me? I think I have leather in here. That is how you... Oh, my goodness. That's huge. Wow. All right. Nice. I'll also be taking that with me just in case I need it. There we go. There we go. There's a lot of interesting rooms in this one. There doesn't seem to be any more Vindicators or anything like that. So we got our one total of undying. I mean, that's cool. And just as the sun starts to rise on day number 61, some very, very good stuff. And there we go. That didn't take long either. So that was pretty nice. Um, okay. And we're getting a whole bunch of advancements because they're called advancements now. That was some dying. Don't look as funny. Um, yeah. So we're in the 1.12 update now. The world of color update this update came out june 7th 2017 and the main features of this update are colored concrete colored concrete powder glazed terracotta and parrots but it also brings improved wool colors dyeable beds replace achievements with advancements so now if i click start i have advancements and boom kind of means i need to go back and do all that but we'll figure that out so i guess what we're going to do in this update is get all the colors because why not we can start down here all right there we go there we go all right let's get this guy as well i think I think that's just gray yep light gray yeah there are some more flowers over here is there any color that we don't have i mean orange but we can make orange we might as well just grab one of those no we need lavender and then purple and pink and all that stuff but that's not hard to do well speaking of lavender i don't know get a couple of those we got quite a bit of the colors the peony is pink dye the aluminium is magenta we have a bunch of stuff because we're going to need at least three colors for every single thing now let's go ahead and go back to our so we were at 1400 negative three something so we just go this way for a while we got so many rockets these newer rockets are just so much better too and if we see any more colors on the way we can snag those oh there's a new flower right there what does the lilac do magenta so it's the same as the alum al 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 Allium? Oh my goodness. Dogs. There's dogs. There we go. You're my friend now. All right. Hopefully you don't die. Ooh, I'm also going to have to get concrete and terracotta. Do I just go to a mesa biome and get terracotta that way? I'll just get back and then I'll figure it out. I'm not going to worry about it yet. Ooh, sunflowers. I know we already have yellow. We can do yellow, right? Yep. So we'll throw away the dandelions because sunflowers are ultimately cooler. Maybe this update I can do some stuff with my armor just because we'll have more time. Hopefully this should not take forever. Forever. Found myself a village. And there's a blacksmith. There are something cool. Oh, a diamond. Uh-oh. Let's go and free dinner. Oh, and there's the mesa biome. Boom. Now I don't have to figure it out. I just come here, click that right there, and we're gaming. If I need you, I'll come back to you. That was very close. Uh-oh. And I'll take that right there. Mere sacks. All right. Oh, seven sacks. That should be enough. Wait, hold up. I have to find this village. It's right there. There it is. Let's go. All right. I mean, it's home is just over here and our house is cut in half uh oh there we go and we're home all right so that stays a red bed i, I mean i figured but uh, we can go and smelt that right there blue what kind of blue is that light blue yeah no there's our green dye right there do we have any other dyes up here do we have our bones but we have bones down in the chest there's our new diamond boom look how pretty let me get the um the bone meal so i can turn that into white dye never mind does that just work as white dye we're gonna need this guy over here thank you yeah it does okay black dye doesn't exist either it's just sex all right all right we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we need light green we need dark gray we need light gray and we need brown um let me let me give me a sec okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we're missing brown obviously well now it's day number 62 we're going to 
Boom. Repair our elytra. Before I go, let me make some shears so I can dial the wool. I think first and foremost, we head to the... Is it negative? It's the pause. It's this way to our portal in the sky. Let's see if I can land here safely and not, not die. Boom. Nice. We need to go deeper. Boom. There we go. Now we're gaming. Now, why am I going back? Um... Ooh, I know where I'm going back. I am going to grab cocoa beans. And hopefully parrots spawn in the older jungles. Weave. Weave. Oh, that did not work. Okay. Don't mind me, just walked right through a zombie pigman. Subspace bubble, that is very loud. Um, but hey, I'm here for the, for the cocoa bean. I got a cocoa bean right there. I'll take seeds just in case I do find a parrot at the jungle. Boom. Now we just go here for like 3,000 blocks and then we find the jungle. Oh, I forgot about our dog. Whatever he's at. Boom, there we go. And is our cat still here? Where's our gato? There he is. Hello. I mean, it looks like parrots cannot spawn. This trip was worth nothing. Wow. Okay. I guess I'll head back. Hopefully my cat doesn't die. All right. I think we should go ahead and go sleep. Good night. All right. Now it's day number 63. All right. So what we got to do is we're going to go ahead and collect a whole bunch of wool. Honestly, I mean, that's that's the goal right now because we could just make the bed and then dye the bed with one piece of wool. We don't have to die a sheep. But if we're going to have 16 beds, we're going to need um, 16 times three is 48. We'll need 48 pieces of wool. Boom. 48 pieces. Perfect. All right. Let's go back here yeah. i'm gonna need 48 pieces of wood as well right now let's just go back look at how far this portal is but it should be right here i guess it's time to go back let's go back to 14,000. whoa 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 look at that there we go there it is so what we gotta do is we gotta make all of these beds boom nice all of the beds sort of black gray light gray white brown to go on the end because why not red orange yellow green ow thank you you didn't have to do that appreciate it though boom there's all the beds now we just need the terracotta and the glazed terracotta cora me mora needs a cora well, now we're on day number 64 so we have two days to get this done i mean that's not going to be hard at all go ahead and boom 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 there we go all right terracotta concrete we need glazed terracotta and concrete that's what we need all right so for concrete we're gonna need we're gonna need four gravel and four sand for each type yeah i don't think the sand will be that big of a deal obviously we just need some gravel gravel should not be hard to find at all and there's a cave just right here with some gravel in it oh i have fortune on my shovel i'm gonna grab the other one guess we're going old school boys there's gotta be some gravel down here somewhere right bingo all right four times 16 is 64 so boom we're all good now all we got to do is take all of our dyes and all of our sand and our gravel what you do here is you do i don't think it matters what order boom 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 oh that's <laughs> <laughs> that's a sneeze excuse me boom that's all of our concrete powder let's just match it up with everything back here boom um do i feel confident in my bucket skills i think i do boom now we just need glazed terracotta how do i make glazed terracotta you ask i don't know we're gonna go find out all right the quest for terracotta begins all right terracotta i can either get clay and smelt the blocks into terracotta or or i can go to the mesa biome and craft it i mean i already got all of my dyes in the chest all right so let's go ahead and go over there and our mesa biome is not too far away it's this way it has a bunch of uncolored terracotta so we'll just grab a bunch of that i'm guessing we need eight for each die so i'm gonna get a lot actually that'd mean two stacks and then to get glazed terracotta we just smelt one of those and then boom we're all good and there we go i would like to say this is the uncolored terracotta but it's white terracotta i think the brownish one right here might be i think this is just terracotta yep we need a whole bunch of that all right so let's get to mining there we go we got two stacks just in case and that's about it and we're gaming all right let's head back boom the village boom the temple our house actually looks really good from afar i think so at least now let's get to crafting so let's get one of each of these dies all right boom and then one in between and while we're at it let's go and start smelting some of these bad boys and we just get the glaze version you know i've actually never seen all the colors of terracotta so this will be pretty interesting i guess we'll go to sleep never mind i go to sleep now yes i can and on day number 65 we get a hey boom 
Dropped his pants. Whoa, hey, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. All right, boom. There we go. That is the world of color update, guys. All the new beds, the concrete powder, the concrete, the terracotta, the glazed terracotta. Look how good it looks. Nice. And now that'll stay there in our world forever. Well, I mean, the only other thing we can get is parrots. And I really do not think we're going to be able to find a jungle that we haven't found yet. We can do that some other time. But for now, I think we get mending and all this kind of stuff on our elytras. We pull up the cords to our base. Not our base. We pull up the cords to our ender portal. Snag those really quickly. Um, sorry guys, I just needed some more food. Oh, that was an epic gamer move. All right, let me pull up the cords real quick. All right, we go to 13,586, negative 4,260. 13, 5, 8, 6. So we have to go this way and negative 4,000. So it's just straight up that way. It's just not that far away, honestly. And there's the island. Let's go. Let's go. And with feather falling, we survived that, surely. Yep, I spy. A lot of zombies. All right. I did not mean to screenshot. Well, we don't need to go back into the end. We might do it just for the achievement while we're here, but we got all these great, fantastic books. We are going to, um, we're going to store all of those. Okay, we're actually good. We don't even need that at all. The Ender Dragon's not here, I hope. So we'll go in and we'll just go back out just because, oh, that's loud. Sorry. Just because it'll spawn us back at our house. We don't have to run all the way back. How do we get out? Um, oh, there we go. Boom. Nice. So we're back here. What we can do is I'm breaking on our elytra. Efficiency five on a pickaxe, just because I'm I'm the goat. I'm him. Put all those bad boys in there. And with the mending, we need to get a couple of trades. I think we can take that in there. Maybe that. Um, I know there's a lot of books that we got, so we can take those. Those will be worth trades. Um, what else can we trade? I don't remember. Let's go see where we're at and what we can do. Because that mending villager is kind of crazy. All right, he takes. Boom, paper for one of those. Mending 10, ooh, he only took two. Two written books for that. How do you write a book? I need to go back, I have more emeralds in the chest, so. Wait, what am I here for? Boom, 12 emeralds, perfect. Do I have any more stuff I can trade up here? String and rotten flesh, do I have any more rotten flesh in here? No, I got some more string though. I think I can trade leather and iron with somebody, and gold, I know I can trade gold. All right, I think we should be good now. I also need more than just one mending book. I want mending on my chest plate and my boots, and my sword at some point. Point, but not too important. We don't use a sword that much. Boom. Boom. Mending. Leather right here for another emerald. Where's our cleric? I need the cleric now. Tell me the cleric's not dead. Surely not. Where could he be? I mean, we got our mending book for our elytra, but I got one for our chest plate. There he is. Boom. Two of those. Everything else he needs emeralds for. Okay. That's cool, I guess. I guess what we should have done is we should have gone ahead and got all of the books in that place um because there was two libraries but nothing we can't go back and do after the next update all right boom 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 nine levels how crazy is that okay okay who's gonna die who's my next victim there we go all right boom 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 now we have a perfect elytra all right sleepy time never mind now it's sleepy time all right so let's head over to 1.13 all right oh oh every update just feels different we're officially in the update aquatic which is also known as the 1.13 update which came out july 18th 2018 and the main features of this update are kelp and seagrass fish mobs dolphins turtles the drowned tridents coral reefs phantoms conduits but it also brings submerged caves swimming shipwrecks treasure maps iceberg bubble columns and enhanced water physics so now we can swim we can use bubble columns with soul sand right here there could be underwater caves now it's just a revamp of the ocean i think this time we go that way so we obviously want to see all the new mobs we want to we want to find a coral reef a conduit i would try but i can almost guarantee that that will not happen for us to get a conduit we need eight nautilus shells and a heart of the sea heart of the sea is not that hard to find but the nautilus shells are a pain to find so yeah let's go this way and find an ocean and once we find a new ocean we will be able to tell we will be able to tell it won't be that won't be that hard to see and we already found some new ocean go down here boom just like that we already have some kelp there's already a drowned with the trident that scared the crap out of me uh we don't like that he did not drop his trident which is unfortunate but i did get gold we already found kelp and seagrass i don't think i need to collect seagrass for you but there's the new icebergs okay now it's probably a cold ocean so there's no fish oh and look what we found here are the turtles 
We found the turtles already. Let's go. Hi. Hi, buddy. Proof that I've seen one. And the new fish. Proof that we found the new fish. I'm gonna catch him in now. Bucket. Tactical fishing. There we go. I mean, just like that, we've we've already done half the update. We still need dolphins. We already found the drowned. We technically found a trident. We could possibly actually get it though instead. So that'll count more. Phantoms, we just can't sleep for three nights and we'll find those. Conduits. Eh, coral reef is the biggest thing though. Let's keep flying around. Hopefully we find one of those. Those things are actually pretty cool. Dolphin. Oh, did you see that? There he is. We've got dolphins, Grace. Look how scary the water is now. But I can swim. I think you can, yep, you can see me swimming. That's pretty cool. Honestly, a revolutionary update. All right, let's keep exploring for that coral reef. And I'm really not sure how common shipwrecks are. You can, oh, ocean monument. Actually, let's fly over that and take a screenshot of that. Just in case we need it for a future update or something. Oh, I think this might be new too. The fact that different colored villages can spawn. I mean, there's really nothing different about them yet. Yeah, they're still the same old, same old thing. All right, let's try to find a coral reef. We do have a silk touch pickaxe so we can get some of the blocks. Oh, does that mean I can get? Hold on. I mean, I can get seagrass. No. Okay. This is a different biome. Okay. It's a lukewarm ocean. We found one of the ruins. I don't think anything's really down here. And there's the drown, but a Frostwalker book. That's actually just. What's up with that? That's ext that's extremely rare. What the heck? And a bubble column. Okay. There's another thing off the list. And there's our first shipwreck. Let's go and scour that. Looking for the map. That's not it. Oh, it, it is. It, the stuff that just didn't load. Okay. All right. Buried treasure. Now let's fly over to where this thing's at. Might be a little scuffed, but that's okay. We'll just get right there and then. It should be just right down here. Oh, there it is. Part of the sea. TNT. Fish. There we go. Boom. All right, now we just got to find a coral reef, baby. We just need one more thing. I don't see that being too hard to find either. Oh, there's got to be a coral reef over here. Another village. Underwater cave. That looks pretty sick. Don't want to go in there, though. Mushroom biome. For now, I don't think this is new generation. Yep, we've hit the wall. I think we went backwards. Yeah, we we're going backwards. Not. That's not good. Oh, there's a shipwreck. That's not even a wreck. It's just a ship. Oh, that's a big old cave. Another shipwreck. I don't really need that. <laughs> Sorry. And look at the sun. The sun's literally in the ocean. I guess these coral reefs are actually pretty hard to find. I'm not a fan of things that are hard to find. We're going across the frozen tundra, mate. I've been flying for a while. Still have not found one. Oh, okay. Quick turnaround. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Not another shipwreck. I don't need you. A mesa biome. Boom, another shipwreck. Another badlands biome. Another shipwreck. Another shipwreck. Another shipwreck shipwreck another shipwreck another shipwreck um coral reefs do they do you exist are you real shipwreck shipwreck another village another shipwreck okay like how, how hard are these coral reefs uh, how i lose my brain it's melting my brain's melting i can't think oh uh, an ocean monument that's too far out here shipwreck shipwreck oh an ice biome thank you for something new i guess oh is that it okay new structure alert let's go an igloo wow where's it at what the does this not have a basement no it doesn't because there's okay wow exciting stuff well there's an igloo for you and as we continue to search for the coral reef i have a problem this is the screen that is on for the next hour of footage so you miss me getting the coral reef getting phantoms and then building my little aquarium quite literally the next three days we're literally just trying to find the coral reef so i'm sorry that this has happened but i can't do anything about it and this is just how it is so i'm sorry so we're on day number 71 now all right now we're on the village and pillage update also known as update 1.4 14, which came out on April 23rd, 2019, almost five years ago. The main features of this update are the village overhaul. Every house has a different profession in it. The pillagers are a thing now. Raids can happen. A lot of the textures are updated in the game, as you can kind of see. You can see in the inventory as well, the golden apple, the carrots, pretty much just everything is. We go here, a noticeable one is all the crops. They're all different. Everything's just a little more vibrant. Same with the horses. They added foxes, pandas, and bamboo forests. And then the other other part is the new crafting station such as the blast furnace and all like the smoker and whatnot most of the profession tables so with that being said i think what we do is we have a village right next to us we can go check that out and the total of them dying looks different as well just a whole bunch of stuff so i guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fly over to our village and see what's up so yeah these guys should have different professions now oh that's a, that's the thing now but he's obviously the librarian with the mending and the new trading ui i think it just looks so much better that way and this guy's 
obviously the cleric that we traded with earlier. We didn't trade with this guy, so he has no profession, which is kind of what we're looking for. Same with this guy. No profession. This guy is the butcher, though. These guys don't know any better. This guy in here doesn't know anything. This guy back here doesn't. These guys right here don't. So there are a lot of villagers that don't, don't know how to do anything. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to go make a bunch of profession tables. We, we want at least one of every single profession. We already have a butcher. We already have a librarian. We already have a cleric. So there are a couple more things that we need. So let's go back to the base and sort all that out. Now, I don't think I'm missing any other things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have the grindstone, the smithing table, cartography. Just look up. Let me just look up all professions. Blast furnace. We're missing a blast furnace. Boom. Blast furnace. There we go. Perfect. And let's go to sleep. Why not? All right, now it's day number 72, and we're ready to go off into the distance. Now, you, my friend, will lock you in right there. I don't need the bricks, so let me just throw those out. Blast furnace right here. There we go. Five emeralds, sure. The smoker, I mean, you're already right there, so that's fine. Fletching table, who wants it? Oh, this guy, apparently. Boom, got that guy down. Fisherman, you right here. Boom, three for a bucket of cod. That's not bad, I don't think um poster you right there um we're getting more carrots i guess boom there we go thank you i guess the hard part will be finding all these guys there's a new guy in here you want to be the cartographer boom seven for a map sure i guess that's fine there's two guys in here boom maloon nice 18 that's ooh, that's quite a bit whatever smithing table for you one nice all right now we've got the cauldron and the grindstone and that's it but sad thing is i think that's all of the villagers but that's okay yeah because you're the, the oh we do have a leather worker Okay, so we just need one more guy. I'm going to put your workstation down over here, the smokers guy over here. But I do think there's one more that needs to be. We throw those out and see if they'll start breeding. Oh, they can't because there's no beds, huh? Hmm, interesting. All right, actually, I think I'm going to go get all that wool. Actually, need 18. There you are. Thank you. 19. Let's get enough for a bed, actually. Come on, eat the grass. It's so nutritious. There we go. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Where is that loomer guy? Isn't he over here somewhere? Come on, where's he at? That's not him. That's not him. Yo, you, you're you broke. You don't have a job. Here you go. Boom. Nice. I have an odd suspicion that was the guy. He just didn't have the, um... Oh, never mind. Boom. We have everybody. Perfect. All right. Well, that knocks off new crafting stations and just new villagers in general. We have every single profession here. Now, it's it's time for us to go home. This creepers. Oh man. Boom. Epic gamer. All right. It is nap time once again. All right. Let me go up here and clear out some of this stuff because we don't need a lot of this. We're not here for too long, so we're not going to organize anything because what would the point really be? Boom. There we go. There we go. And we'll figure that out later. So now part of this update is the pillagers. I know we're strong enough for a raid, but I kind of want some mending stuff first. I need two mending books, one for my boots, one for my chest plate, another for my sword and my axe. So I need four. So that's 88 emeralds. How do I make 88 emeralds, you ask? I don't know. How do I make 88 emeralds? I gotta find that out myself. I'm pretty sure I do have four books up here somewhere. I have 4D books. Let me just take all those. Let me take all the stuff I can use for trades. I know I can use iron now. Now 10 is gonna get me over there, hopefully. Ow, that did not feel good. Now let's just go on a trading spree. Why don't we? We can just settle for one for now. Boom. All right. I think one will do for now. I just know in these next couple of updates, we got a lot of exploring to do. So what's more important? Hmm. Think about this. We have efficiency, unbreaking three on that, detection and sharpness, frost walker. I think unbreaking for my boots for sure and mending for my chest plates. Boom. And breaking for the boots. Nice. So now I just need mending on my boots and then I'm fine. I mean, my sword as well. Axe not not so important, but maybe I just keep collecting all that stuff. Maybe tonight, that's what I do, is I just start farming rotten flesh and then leather and whatnot. I think that's actually a great idea. Let me go ahead and just prepare for that, actually. we go ahead and do that with cows for now. I mean, I don't need any more food, but the leather. Yes, let's farm creepers, zombies, and spy does tonight. I think the next thing I'll put mending on is probably my boots, just because it's another piece of armor that I need to not break, especially with all the caving I'm going to do in the next couple updates. Or not just caving, but nethering. This nice epic monster mowing session is getting my elytra all fueled up and ready to go. So regardless of how well this does me for emeralds, I mean, I needed to do this anyways. Almost three stacks of rotten flesh. That'll get me literally like five emeralds. That's fantastic. All right, let's see how we did. It's day number 74, but we're going to see, we're going to see the damage we can do. All the stuff we got. <gasps> ooh, for, ooh, ooh. We do have a fortune three shovel. So watch this guys. 
All right, that's not a cool sound. I don't like that, but I do like the Fortune 3. I never knew that below the gravel was cobblestone. I honestly think it looks a little bit better. It's glitched. I can't get through. Don't kill me, please. How does this look? What the heck? I got an arrow right in the top of my head. That's pretty funny. How much... Ooh, almost four stacks. All right, where'd you go, pal? Ooh, there we go. We just got two more mending books. How crazy. We're gaming. Uh-oh. We're a bunch of gamers. Ooh, ooh, our light just all the way back. Now, what we need to do is we need to go back and get more books. We just snag two of these bad boys right here. Mending one and mending two. Hooray. Perfect. And we're back. And we're gaming. Right on the boots. Three for the boots. Huge. And then I think the sword is the best bet. Yeah, most definitely the sword. Fantastic sword. And we're pretty much done with that. Where was that bucket of cod where'd that thing go right here i'm putting i'm putting that cod in our little thing boom there's our little fishy little fishy boy okay so i think what we can do is we can go and go that way that's a place we have not gone yet getting sugar cane and all that kind of stuff on the way i think that's a safe bet we head there until we find a pillager outpost or pillager spawn or we find a bamboo forest in a jungle but finding a jungle might be a little hard so if we just go that way for a while yeah i think that's what we'll do not really worry about anything what there's another village right here i mean i mean that's cool but i think we can literally just keep going this way i think this is relatively new i haven't seen a podzol biome yet or the mega taiga that's pretty cool but we also could find one of the newer villages i think i mean that'd be pretty sick and that's part of the update too so check that off the list okay a jungle biome is this new it is new because there's bamboo okay that was a lot easier than i thought it was gonna be and now the only thing ow now the only thing left is pandas let's find the pandas where are the pandas at uh oh we found one like 10 updates later okay i guess we're gaming oh hey fortune 2 smite 3 that's a w and then i know there's this little thing back here how does that even work i know it's a puzzle but all the time i would just quite literally just break through it so let's see if i can figure it out i, I mean i figured it out oh well, i did i figured it out so that's cool give me the piston and the sticky pistons okay huge thank you all right give me out that was fun but i'm out we only need oh pfft another one there's no way they don't exist and then all of a sudden they do because i have an elytra that's why um i didn't see any pandas but i did find everything else let me go and look for a fox real quick because foxes do spawn like come on how hard is this thing supposed to be to find i mean i know the foxes can just spawn in any tundra or any taiga biome but with the pandas do they have to spawn in a bamboo forest i mean i think that would make a little bit of sense but it's still kind of dumb i think it's always when you're trying to find something they never show up well we're on the last day of the village and pillage update We've got a few more things to find. Oh, sweet berries are new. That's not on the list, but I mean, it's new, so there we go. We need to find a fox, a panda, and pillagers. And starter raid is kind of the bonus thing. So the last 100 days video, I talked about people with lactose intolerant problems or people who are lactose intolerant. We had a couple people say they stand with the lactose intolerant people. And I do too. I stated that in the last video. But this time we're talking about the gluten and dairy free people. I feel bad for you. No ice cream, no peanut butter, no bread. You, you just live a sad life and that's okay. Same as vegans, but we don't talk about vegans. So if you're allergic to gluten, or allergic to dairy i stand with you as well um guys i don't think this thing exists literally where are the foxes mate where are the foxes bro all right well let me get out of here i'll scout the area one last time but i feel like we have a better chance of finding a panda now let's go find the pandas or more importantly a bamboo forest because i think that's where the pandas actually spawn all right no um no luck with that i still need to find that pillager outpost no luck over there oh uh oh uh oh i think you see what i see let me just land up here, snag this, unbreak it. Oh, I think I quite literally needed that. Now, get the chopping, bruv. Weave. You guys are kind of weak. I guess I just need to wait till they spawn with the flag over their heads. Oh, there he is. There's the guy. Now, does that last for... How long does that last for? That lasts until, like, I die? Or... I don't know. The only reason why I ask is because it'd be very nice to just go and grab bees first. Well, how about this? How about... Screenshot this just in case. What if I went ahead and just updated it so I could go... So I'm not wasting this time right now. Oh, actually, you know what? I could just do this. Speed it up a little bit. All right. Go to sleep. Let's go to day 76. All right. We're now in the 1.15 update. Also known as the Buzzy Bees update. 
update. This update came out December 10th, 2019, so like seven months after the 1.14. And the main features of this update are bees. I mean, that is primarily what is in this update. With bees comes beehives, bee nests, honey bottles, honey blocks, honeycomb blocks. And there was a lot of bug fixes as well. And the rendering code was rewritten, so we won't get terrible rendering anymore, which is a huge, huge difference. And every update, you kind of can just tell that it's a new update. So what we're going to do, we're going to go this way. Now, with the rendering code being updated, I think we might be able to get bees in unloaded chunks. What I mean by that is we've already loaded a certain amount of chunks, but I think we can still get bees in chunks we've already loaded. I think that's what that means. But just to make it safe, come out here and see what we can get. Now, bees can spawn on trees in any biome that trees spawn in, I'm pretty sure. This one's just a forest right here, but a flower forest or right there. Quite literally. Boom. Well, hello. Here's our furry little friends. Well, I have to wait till it's night to get the bees back in the beehive. So, in the meantime, I really don't know what to do. I haven't seen these flowers yet. They're corn flowers. Okay. I think these are new. Oh, he just went back in. Get them now. Boom. There we go. Yeah, the bees are in there. They went to go deposit their honey. So I guess I didn't have to wait till night this time. Um, while we're over here, there is that taiga biome. We could potentially find a fox. And there's another beehive. All right, you guys. Go back in the hive. Go back in the hive. Hurry up, bee. Hurry up, bee. Let's go. Boom. There we go. Now we got two beehives with bees in them. Sweet. All right, well, let's continue with our thing. Going to find these things in the... Thing. Let's try to find another little fox. Let's find a little fox in the tiger biome. Hmm. Bunny, you're not the guy that I want. So I think it might just be a lost cause. I'm not entirely sure, mate. My thing is, I, I always find these things no problem. I'm not looking for them whatsoever, and they're just there. I guess this time, it's just different. Well, I guess what we can do is we can just fly back now. Yep, nothing there, but we can go back to 14,000. Yeah, so it's gonna be that way, okay. If I've missed a fox, let me know. I think what I want to do is I'll go home first, and I'll drop everything off, and then I'll go to the other village. I know it's not, it doesn't even matter whichever oh village right there that's a new village actually I'm not gonna go near that but that is a newer one with the actual personalized buildings which is pretty cool boom there's the underground temple yeah and then our base is just this way yeah there we go there's the house and you see how easy that was when we have just the best elytra the best things it's just so great i guess we'll go and throw our stuff up here let me take a nap and then reset the day and go fight this raid start on day number 77 so what we're gonna do i'll go ahead and make some more more golden apples. If I have more apples, I don't think I do. Okay, never mind. But I'll keep these golden apples in hand. Let me put this stuff on my stuff. All right, if I put I'm breaking on my sword and fortune two on my pickaxe, that's only five. So we're all golden now. We have a good bow. Let me go ahead and repair this bad boy for only two. There we go. And yeah, turn those hitboxes back on just because. Let's go this way to that other sand village. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready and prepare village and the raid has started or has it why is it not started why is the raid not started how does the raid start all right maybe it's because it's an older village let me go to the other village that taiga went all the way out here it's right here all right now i think it's time to raid there we go. Has to be a newer one. Get ready. Let me put on my chest plate. Have our bow in hand. I think I think we should just be fine. They're not really anything special. Oh no, they're over there. They're getting getting smoked. Right, let's go mess them up. Thank you, sir. I didn't have to do anything. Thank you. All right, see, so yeah, I ring that bell, boy. Where are they coming from this time? Oh, this way, I think. Nope, those are sheep. All right. Oh, they're still over there. Okay. Dang. All right. Oh, off I guess. I don't want to kill him anyways. Are these last guys up here? They gotta be, right? Ow. There he is. Uh-oh. Not the Ravager. Not the big guy. Come and help me. Get him. Oh, no. I, I didn't mean to do that. Well, he can't get me up here, so that's gonna just cheese him. There we go. And he got us a saddle. Hooray. But now we don't have a little, our little buddy to, to help us out. I mean, I know we'll be fine, but why are you running away from me, pal? I guess this switch didn't want to come down. Goodbye. All right, where's this lat? Oh, right here. What are you drinking, pal? Doesn't matter. Bye-bye. All right, this should be the final wave, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Where are they coming from this time? Oh, over here. All right. This guy's fast. Okay, he needs to die immediately. There we go. Oh, that's a Ravager. You're not allowed over here. Oh, he's fast. Get me out. Out. How much health does this guy have? Oh, he's dead. All right. The big threat is down. Now it's a snooze fest. Uh-oh. One more evoker. Oh, that's not an evoker. 
Why are you waving your arms like that? It says raid defeat. Did we lose? We lost? I guess they killed all the villagers. I don't know they could actually do that. I mean, good thing that wasn't part of the thing was winning a raid. That's okay. All right, well, that crosses off 1.14 off the list. All right, well, that was fun. Let me uh, turn off those hitboxes and go home. Tomorrow's the day of the bees. I am not going in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, we're close. Over here. And there's the house. There's the house. And we asleep. And we go to bed. Good night. Me, 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 me. All right, so we got another Totoro and dying. That's pretty sick. Not that we're going to need it because we're just gamers. All righty, mate. Let's get our beehives. Boom, boom. And I think we'll just put one on this tree right here. Our lovely bees should come out. I heard them. Let me go get some more flowers because I know they can go to any flowers, but all the flowers could just be a little better. Nice way to liven up the place. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it won't come out, but take some of these leaves off to make this look a little better. Go get some more bones for all the bone meal, brother. Oh, there they are. They finally came out. Nice, nice. Just got to make this look a little more lively again. There we go. Nice little cozy place. They're doing the bee stuff in there and we should make another tree somewhere over here not over here where am i going i'm going to get the bone meal that i dropped boom right there um it looks like it didn't care what i wanted it to do did it anyways all right not too bad all right beehive number two right there nice now i guess we just wait till they do this all the time i'm not entirely sure i know we need to make campfires which you just use we need coal some sticks how do i make a campfire let me find out oh i need i need logs that makes more sense we go in, boom, 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 boom. There's one. I didn't get both of the coals. Boom, boom, boom. And bam, we got two bee, or bee campfires. Beehives. No, uh. -huh. All we do is put that right underneath it, and then we can snag whatever we need out of there. Nice. Oh, now there's honey. We can do one of two things. We can use bottles. Do we have bottles? No, we don't. Wait, do I have sand? I do have sand. Boom. But for now, where's my shears? Do I have shears? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. Do I have shears? Shears in my inventory. Oh my goodness, my brain's going to explode. While we're waiting for the other thing to start doing that, we'll go ahead and snip that off. Boom, we got three honeycombs. There's a new item. And if I'm not mistaken, we get more of these. We can make a honeycomb block, which is kind of pointless. Um, yeah, it doesn't really do anything, but it's okay. Nine bottles. We need some more flowers over here, though. I'm actually gonna get rid of this farm, too. It's kind of gross. All right now, I guess we quite literally just sit and wait. We could make a bee nest. I think that is a good idea. How do I make a bee nest? Not beehive, bee nest. Oh, wait, the beehive is the craftable one. The bee nest is the... Oh, okay. Okay, well, I guess it's good that I didn't use the honeycombs yet, because we do need them for a beehive. Boom, an artificial one. You can place this one right here, because in the when it oh what was that when it turns day we can breed the bees and get a little baby bee but we need to wait for day because they don't come out at night so while we're waiting for that let me go ahead and make another um another what what do i need to make another oh i know i'm making another rain can you work please i'm making another campfire or the beehive or the bee nest whatever you want to call it boom there we go all right now it's time to take a nap Let's go to bed and go to day number 78. Just kidding, that was day 78. Today is day 79. We got two days to deal with the bees. Now, let me... Boom. Now make little bee babies. There we go. The little bee is so cute. Can I make you grow up faster? Oh, I think I can. Hold on. I don't know if that helps, but I did it. I mean, I just fed it so many flowers. and Hopefully it doesn't die. Over pollinization. If that's even a thing, I don't know. Let me show you what I can do with this, though. Boom, a bottle of honey. And I can drink it, but I don't want to do that because I want to make a honey block. So I guess I'll be a beekeeper for the next couple of days. Oh, there's the other bee. He was, just, he was buzzing off somewhere else, I guess. Um, So now I guess, um, well, this might be the next boring couple of days. I literally just sit here and wait. I can't speed this up. And the beehives are too far away. So I guess this is what we'll see for the next two days. We just need three more honey bottles and four honeycombs. And that's it. Oh, by the way, I have a lot of people ask me what shaders do I use? Um, Right now, obviously nothing. But normally, it's the complimentary reimagined shaders. You'll end up seeing that later. Later on when I go to 1.20. But hey, look at all the bees. The bees are a buzzing. Alright, y'all keep getting making to honey. Or whatever. Ooh, more honey. Get one more honey bottle. I just need one more. I have a Lego version of you. That's pretty cool. Oh! <gasps> 
Another baby. Where'd you come from? I'm not gonna ask any questions. Look at them. Hard at work. This is like a wallpaper. Something you find on a wallpaper engine. Just bees floating around. I mean, not right now. There's no bees, but you know what I mean. But I think they're done for the day. So I am too. Let us go to sleep and go to our last day of the 1.15 update. All right. Now they're back at work. Now let me breed y'all. Of course I can't breed you. Of course you've already eaten food, you fatty. Where are your friends at? Where they at though? Oh. There they are, but I can't feed y'all either. I can feed you. Oh, they're making a baby. Boom. What up, gangsta? All right, I'll let y'all go do y'all's jobs. Ooh, our honey block is here. Check this out. Boom. Sweet. Get it? Because it's honey? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll lock myself out. Is that not a... There we go. Dicky situation. Nice. That'll go... I'll put that in the ground right here. Just because you can't really see it, but that's okay. Now, now we just need our shears. Shear that right there and shear that right there. We have six honey block or honeycomb block. Boom. Nice. I'll put that right here. Here we go. Well, that's all for the, <laughs> the 1.15 update. Yay. All the bees. I know, I know. It's not like Wadzi. I didn't build a big old bee farm, but I didn't have time for that, okay? You guys can calm down. Well, I guess I can set up for the next update which is you guessed it the nether update which is kind of concerning just a little bit but we can fortune these diamonds finally we got 12 out of 5 that's pretty cool um yeah but we do have a few of our obsidian somewhere boom and there should be 26 in here nice but what we can do is we can make a little place over here put our portal down all right so let's light this bad boy up and that's where we'll be spending our time for the next five days It'd be pretty cool if we don't have to spend all five days there but i'm completely prepared to i will keep my obsidian i will have my rockets my golden apple just everything that i might need yes i do my fire resistance potions that could save me other than that i think we should be good so yeah we can just watch the bees for the rest of the day how about that All right, I think it is night time so we can officially sleep and then update our game. Why is everything's nothing's enchanted anymore? I mean, it, it, it gained dur- what is going on? It gained durability, but uh, this is why you make backups of your worlds, ladies and gentlemen. Why you make backups of your worlds. Well, we can say hi to our bees and to our fishes, but I, I, at least we have everything, but that's kind of annoying. I prepared for the nether. All right, so let's go back in the house and run you through what's, what's going on. So the nether- Another update is the official 1.16 update of Minecraft, which came out on June 23rd, 2020. And the main features of this update are, you guessed it, the nether rework. This includes warped forest, crimson forest, soul sand valleys, piglins, hoglins, striders, many new nether blocks, netherite, and netherite tools and armor, which is pretty sick. And also, zombie pigmen are now zombified piglins. I don't think pigmen exist anymore, but that's not really a big deal. Oh, oh, we have enchanted stuff in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's okay that's kind of sick i guess we'll be taking some of those you're replacing those with those breaking onto pants oh and we don't have any levels okay that's cool too at least we have two silk touch shovels everything over here still good we still have that axe well it doesn't matter anymore still efficiency protection sharpness okay, well i guess we'll grab this other elytra because we might need it now Ooh, i do remember i think yes a fortune four efficiency that makes no sense. A fortune three efficiency four shovel. I guess I'll take that. I do have more diamonds too. I mean, that doesn't help me. Need more levels. Whatever. That's fine. All right. Well, we could go into the nether first, or should we enchant some of our armor? We still have 22 emeralds, which is enough for one thing of mending. We already have a mending pair of pants. We have protection four and sharpness four on something and something else. I don't remember which one it was. Yes, yeah, so the mending blast protection and our other elytra as well. That really just flipped the whole script around Ooh, why did why did it do that i really want to know why i did that well with our new dilemma i think we just go and discover the nether see what's up okay we're already in the crimson forest Ooh, can i grab let me get one of each of these boom boom oh roots mushrooms oh a worked mushroom all right and a shroom light that is everything for here right yeah there we go. Let's take a screenshot of the portal and then let's not bite those guys and let's just go this way. I'm looking for a soul sand valley or, oh, a soul sand valley. Boom. Let me take a bone block from here. Piece of soul sand. Um, piece of the soul soil right there. And boom. That's, that's it for, um, the soul sand. Oh. Right, cool. All right, that's literally two biomes down. I'm actually gonna go and go this way just because I don't want to stray too far. Boom, striders. There's another thing. 
Poglin. Oh, a ruined portal. I wonder when those were added, because I have not seen one in my world yet. Maybe they were added this update. Obsidian efficiency. I'll take some obsidian and a fire charge. All right, onward. Um, I think it was a good idea to go in the same direction, because we could run into the generation we've already generated before. So, yeah, I think I should go back. Oh, a bastion. Okay. Um, so we are a new generation. I will not be going in there, simply because we don't have any enchantments on our armor. But we found one of those. There you go. And here we are. A warped forest. Ooh. I guess I went over a basalt delta bio? Huh? I got 19 levels from that? That's crazy. Um, I guess I flew over basalt delta at some point. I guess I didn't really see it, but sure. I didn't know those things existed yet. Let's grab one of everything over here as well. Boom, boom, boom. I already have one of those. I'll put it back. Nice. Um, okay. Ow. That did not feel good. That didn't feel good. I, I, I'm, I'm out. Get me out of here. Holy. Well, I would like to find the Basalt Delta I went to. I don't know how I went to one, but... Oh, oh, there's the... Oh, I found the other portal. That's the ocean portal right there. What the heck? That's pretty sick. Is there a Basalt Delta over there? Um, I don't see one. I guess we'll keep exploring for that. But I, I still haven't found it. But it said I did. I don't know. I have no idea. Wait, so does the, did that count right there? I saw one of these things. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Basalt nice now we have every single block that is new for the nether we didn't even need to find a basalt i'm still just so i'm go i'm confused what the heck happened is there anything else we needed to explore in here well the only thing to do now is get nether right but i think that's what we'll do for the next five days for i think we've been in here for two days we'll do that for the next three days and we'll just be digging until we get that so yeah i guess let's go back to the portal and here we are boom all right that is it we'll be back all right it is the dandy old night time so we will be taking a quick little nap our elytra durability is a little low that's not very fun let's go set up our nether platform where do i do that at just do it right here give me all of this boom it's literally not much but it's there that's a sign of our nether adventure and i'm sorry if that was a little underwhelming but you realize that i am in hardcore minecraft i've spent 82 days up to this point i go into that bastion i am getting absolutely destroyed and i don't even have any good enchantments on my armor i have no enchanted sword i don't have anything i am going in there getting absolutely smacked so that's all you get sorry about you okay well now since i don't have that's great so so I don't have the um, efficiency or unbreaking. I do have efficiency four right there, and I do have unbreaking on this, so I might as well try to level up and get that so I can not stress out over mining. Yeah. You see why this is a big problem? I have all these emeralds. Let me get all the iron that I have. Just all the trades that I can do, and that's not very many trades, but no, that's, a, that's okay. Well, let's, let's go. Let's just go see what we can do, and if we can't get level 30, then that's unfortunate. That's the next goal, though. Goodbye minecraft for that or me for that for not for not backing up my world but it's a hardcore world why would i back it up i mean it, it, it does tell me to kind of back it up so this doesn't happen whatever i tried to respect the challenge but kind of a waste of time um how do you level up fast in minecraft guys we got to get creative here i guess i'll just go kill animals i guess mending not sucking up all my experience now oh i have coal i can give them coal and give them leather too it sucks that i don't have looting on my sword anymore do a fortune on my shovel that can be pretty big i don't know i'm just scraping for pennies right now Oh, it's not fun. Boom. That was... I didn't get any experience from that, but that's okay. It was a testing experience. There's some gravel over here. Boom. How much gravel? I mean, what? How much flint do you think I'm getting right here? Now it's monster time. Monster time, mate. Good as we can still two-shot some of these mobs. Also, I can get these trades out of the way. Just kidding, I can't. Who had the flint trade? Where did you go, pal? Who's the flint guy? He's the flint guy. Boom. That I didn't even get to max it out. Thank you, I guess. I mean, that was all right. Could have been better. I think I need to go into the, the desert, just farm mobs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, he's gonna win. I, I have money on him. There we go. Potato. Ah! That was loud. Sorry if this is boring. And blame Minecraft. Okay, day number 88, and we are gaming. We didn't reach level 30, but we didn't really get anything else. We'll be good. We've just got a whole bunch of gravel in these, these places. Any more emeralds or any experience we can get is needed, and I will jump at the opportunity to grab that. Pick that up, and we go and sell it all. We also have 35 emeralds to trade, because at this point, it doesn't really matter what we get. It's just, we just need level 30, that's all. That's quite 
literally all. I'm here. Let me take all your emeralds. Oh, I can't trade them anymore. Wow. All brick. All that stuff is gone. We're ever so slightly closer. So many arrows. We don't need all of those. Let's just throw those out. I have six more emeralds I can trade. Just get some cooked food for that. Now we're level 28. We're so close now. I just wonder what else we can do right now. Level up a little faster. Because we're right there. We're so close. I think that's all we can do for now over here. So let's head out. We just need to start killing animals now. Just getting that XP from them. And when they don't drop any, it's not very fun. We're now one level away. I am killing pigs so I can trade their stuff. Where are the pigs at, brother? All right, so let's go back to the village and see what we got now. We've killed quite a bit of pigs, and we should have enough to trade till the level 30. But if not, I'll be a little surprised, honestly. We'll get like five trades from this, and then we can trade the rest of it with emeralds. Boom, there we go. All right. And let's go back to the house. Now let's get our lapis lazuli out of here. Boom, unbreaking three. And fortune two. I mean, I won't use the fortune two, but sure. That's pretty cool. Now we can combine those and we have a really nice pickaxe. Sharpness three on the sword. Efficiency four on the axe. Whatever. Um, let me go ahead and enchant my boots. Projectile protection. Never mind. Let me enchant these. Boom, now. Feather falling three and protection two. All right, I'm completely fine with that my helmets my pants everything they're all kind of mid let me combine my pants and my other pants first boom nice we got decent armor not not really we've got armor is what i should say we'll put our elytras in here everything else could just go in there we don't need any of it Same with the food all right let me take all this out of there i need that fire resistance potion because that'd be probably really nice all right and we don't need to sleep right now we don't have that much time to get the netherite so i think we just go ahead and head into it hold on one thing i've wanted to do this whole time and I haven't is this give me a second boom he's munching look at him Alright, that's enough. Wait, can I get it to where it's not this closed? I can. I can get to where it's open all the way too. That's pretty cool. Nice. Alright, so what we do is we go to the nether. We go down to wide level 12. Yeah, lava's a pretty big problem down here. Just because it moves as fast as water does. And I know you know this. If you play Minecraft, you know this. Alright, we've reached wide level 12. And now we just dig for forever. Oh, and just like that. Boom. We found one piece. That's it. Well, just like that. Got one inch of debris. That was not hard. I know we need more than one, obviously. That's a fourth of one ingot, so we got our work cut out for us. We just need to watch out for that lava, and there's another one. Is it more than one this time? It's gonna be two. At least two. Yeah, two. Wow. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. And there's the lava I was talking about. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We officially have our first block. What am I saying? We officially have our first ingot. It's fantastic. Oh, there's more lava. No, thank you. Let me go this way now. Oh, there's some more. Oh, that's more lava. What about this way for it? Oh, that's more lava. Okay. What about this way for a little bit? Oh, more lava. All right. Now let's pivot. Oh, pivot to the right place. Let's go. We're almost at two whole netherite ingots. And that's our second one. Oh, we got a lucky three vein this time. Okay. We're already halfway to our fourth one. Third one. One up. My brain, I'm lost. Oh brother, I'm just I'm just mowing down right now. Epic gamer mowing session. Any more ancient debris for me? Oh, oh, eh, that's not cool. Let's go this way. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Oh, there we go. It's just one, but one will never mind, it's two. Let's go. We now have three ingots. Oh my brain. Oh my brain. I don't think I can stop right now. I'm so locked in. Oh, there we go. Wait. Okay, we're good. Had to make sure there was no... Oh, we're halfway to our fourth one. We almost have full armor. Oh, that's more lava. Let's go this way. Never mind. Oh, boom. Can it be two pieces, please? Yes, it can. There we go. But we do have officially four ingots now. This is huge. Oh, there's more already. And it's more than one. We're just getting so lucky. Ready of 18. Pickaxe is running a little low, though. I think it might need a chug splash. <laughs> Sorry. Womp, womp, womp. Womp womp. Oh, 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 you're still going. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool whatsoever. You didn't have to do that. Boom. There's one, and there's only one. All right, well, thank you, I guess. No, I just need one more. I just need one more. Come on. Boom, right there. There we go. 
And that was a singular one. I think we head back now. Now where back is, I have no idea. We're just going to run for quite a while. We went kind of far, so we might be a second. Ooh, I haven't run for a solid five minutes. There we go. There we go. This staircase. Let's go. And there's the beautiful portal. Let's just hop right in and go home. Ooh, it's a bright morning or a midday or something. Not entirely sure. We got our bees. Look at everything. We're just back to normal. Boom. Polished black stone. Black stone. Boom. There we go. Now what we can do, let's go ahead and smelt. Ooh, we have no coal. I sold all of it. I have many different smeltable things in here. Boom. And we need gold. We have plenty. Of, we have exactly the amount of gold. In a smithing table, we need two iron ingots. What? We have those just conveniently in the chest. More oak planks up here. Boom. Boom. Put that in the corner over there. There we go. There we go. All right. Look at the crafting table. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait to craft all of them. All right. Let's grab the rest of the scrap and go ahead and craft all of the ingots. Boom. That didn't work. Boom. There we go. Five of them. Now, boom. Netherite boots. Netherite pants. Netherite chest plate. Netherite helmet. And we got the... Oh. Hold on. Hold on. That was a very loud sound. We got the Cover Me in Debris achievement. Boom. We're all sick and all iced out. As you can see, it doesn't repair it. It does it a little bit. So, I think I'm going to go use some of my diamonds to repair that, actually. Or just... Oh, I have another pickaxe. Never mind. Boom, boom. It's only three. Perfect. Couldn't, even, couldn't be any better than that. Couldn't be any better boom boom the almost perfect pickaxe there we go now we're gaming look at us we're just so op and the nether has technically been conquered um i didn't go into the bastion but screw the bastion so i'll be going to bed good night see you tomorrow and now on day number 86 we go into the caves and cliffs update this update spans across 1.17 to 1.18 and i just combined them both into one so we're on 1.18 right now the main features of this update are various cave plants also known as the new moss variants of things axolotls glow squids goats copper amethyst geodes raw ore candles and more stone blocks but it also brings improved various textures light block which is in creative and powdered snow but the second part of caves and cliffs update added completely overhauled world generation and some examples of that are the added huge and complex cave systems the much more varied and extreme terrain generation and the increased overworld height limit by 64 blocks downwards and apparently it radically changed ore distribution and one of my favorite features about this update is mobs spawn only in complete darkness so the light level has to be zero and we did not get reset on any of our enchantments or anything like that which is fantastic but we're not going to get any of the caves and cliffs updates around here all of that will be a lot of blocks that way so what do we do to prepare for this because the 1.19 update will take place far out as well i guess we really don't we have these elytras over here we don't have anything that'll give us anything great we can't put knock back and sharpness on our sword though which will be great as well as fire aspect i'm pretty sure yep boom so we pretty much have the same sword but doesn't have looting three which is kind of a bummer but that's okay the biggest thing though is the elytra repairs so worth it boom and that only cost one now we'll do that and we'll take our anvil with us just for that reason because as much as i love our base we might not see it again for the next 15 days just because we have to go so many blocks that way it'll be that way for the next three updates so we can we can go in the nether let me get all the things to go in the nether yeah we can just go in the um the x direction and we should be good let's go and do that all right let's go this way for quite a quite a while oh and there's a bastion yep i don't want a part of i don't want any part of that actually boom and i think right here is perfect we're pretty far out so just go ahead and make this portal boom all right let's hop in see what we got oh hey hey sheep how's it going and i guess i mean we could dig down right now but i think we should just find a natural cave right just see if it actually worked that's what we're looking for not quite Ooh, there is copper though let me grab some of that some glow lichen i think that's what we're looking for right here oh there we go the lush cave and that's a whole bunch of things a whole bunch of problems but yes the lush cave everything the deep slate all of this moss boom perfect all right now we just need some axolotls no axolotls only spawn on clay but there has to be water on the clay and there's diamonds what if what if we did just Boom, did that and then ran away a bit. But I don't see any axolotls. I think I just need a new cave. Or something better. Something like over here. Where are the little guys? I mean, the, the spawn conditions are great right here. Where are they at? All right, let's see if that'll work. I mean, I, I feel like that might be a bit much, but... Oh, what is that over there? What is that little guy over there? I think I... Is that, is that what I think it is? Oh, 
A tropical fish? What are you doing in the in the cave? What are you doing down here, buddy? I mean, that kind of makes no sense, but... Oh, there's the glow squid. That was an axolotl. No, that's fish. Why are there so many tropical fish? Come on. Can you spawn or what? All right, that's not funny. Get me out. I don't want to be here anymore. Let me find somewhere else. I want to go down and then boom, they're just there. That'd be pretty cool. So we found various cave plants, low squids. We need to find goats. We found raw ore. We need to find an amethyst. We already found copper. Boom, we found a village too. Hey, why is that house just so lonely? What the heck? We need to get candles too. We have bees. We can get candles with our bees. There we go. Oh, there's a big old cave. Can we find, find it down here? This is very dangerous and scary, but I'm a professional. Diamonds. We're a huge, big, epic set of gamers. I just want to find a big old cave. Oh, is this a big old cave? This, this is a big old water cave. I don't really like them water caves, brother, but that's uh, nothing. All right. What about that? Is that something? Whoa, that is something, but that's not the something we're looking for. I mean, I'm not wrong. That is something. Give me out. Not the um, crazy cave I'm looking for, but a crazy cave nonetheless. Whoa, there we go. Good thing I'm a gamer. Ooh, big old jungle. Let's see if we can find some pandas this time. Yeah, this is the crazy terrain generation they was talking about. This stuff is sweet. Boom, ruined nether portal. ka -chow. All right, how's this cave looking? Not looking promising. Uh-oh. Yeah, like, give me out. Give me out. Boom. New cave found. Uh-oh. This cave is humongous. Um, nothing I'm looking for, though. Give me out. Look at how big these stalactites are. What the heck? All right, I'm out. Sorry, you're, you're good to look at for a second. Oh, my goodness. The Elytra definitely does these caves justice, too. You can just go in and see them. They're actually crazy. Uh-oh. Another big cave alert? Question mark. These are never actually promising. Oh, never mind. There's a big old hole. Um, it's actually nothing. Okay. And we out. And we're out. And we're gaming. Another village? Wow. Wow, this village is pretty swaggy. Uh, what about this big old mountain right here? I think there's some pretty sick stuff. Nope, there's not even a cave in there at all. Well, we've been at it for a day. Still haven't found axolotls, goats, and amethyst geodes. Uh-oh. Nope, that's a water cave. I'm not going down there. It's a big old water cave right here. Ooh, big old cave right here. What you got for me? Axolotl question mark? Can't spawn right here, can it? No. This cave leads to nothing. All right. He's gaming. He's gaming. Uh-oh. Big old stalactite cave again. Wee. All right, give me out. I'm done. Another nice cave. Just getting another cave of nothing. I'm running out of elytra. I'm running out of rockets too. Not cool. Not one bit. Another cave. Part of that big old cave. Yeah, give me out. I'm sorry. I'm not not the biggest fan. Not the biggest fan of those caves, mate. I think we land and get some of the sugar cane for some more rockets. I'm a little stuck right now. I'm still a little lost. I don't know where I am. I don't have any more rockets. My electric's almost broken. I have some more phantom membranes, but still not looking too good for me. I guess we'll go seek refuge at this village. See what we can do here. I forgot there's a bunch of new chests and stuff in this village. The new village is actually so great. The old ones are cool but sometimes new is better i know a lot of people don't like hearing that but i'll be honest i enjoy new minecraft so much better than older minecraft and it's raining uh i'll be taking your bed sorry pal i need to go to sleep all right day number 88 and let's go what should we do um we're kind of like lost right now um we need rockets we can also repair our elytra can we combine these two still 144 yeah we can Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Why not? And then, boom. Throw some of the stuff in that chest. Got all the sugar cane we need. We just need some more. We just need some more, uh, what's it called? Some gunpowder. Well, I'm still looking for goats, for am an amethyst geode, and for axolotls. And candles, but we can get back and do candles. Um, I guess our best bet is do the old-fashioned thing and just go down in a cave and hopefully it's good. But when I'm in the cave, I can fight some creepers so I can get some more gunpowder so I can get some more rockets. Boom. All right, any caves around here? There's one right here, but I don't think this is anything. Nope. Okay, we have found our next cave. See what's going on down here. See, I'm sorry that it's not as bright down here. Oh, and there's a zombie spawner and a curse of fishing book and some music disc. All right, apparently that was nothing, so I get to go back up and find another cave. Okay, you know what I saw in my inventory? I have a baked potato. I didn't know that could happen if you kill a zombie that has a potato with fire aspect. You get a baked potato. That's actually pretty cool. The attention to detail right there is pretty, pretty sweet. Our search for a big old cave continues. Another one. Check out this ruined nether portal first. Garbage. All right, let's check what's in this hole. Ow. Thanks for the gunpowder, sir. Okay, thanks for the other cave that just doesn't have anything in it. Okay, now it's dark outside and 
we can farm some gunpowder. That, why did it take, all right, whatever. What was that? A donkey? I'm, I'm matrixing up in here. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm gaming. Oh, I see a bamboo forest. Uh oh, that thing's huge. That's crazy. I don't want to go see a panda. And what do you know? A jungle temple. I just want to find a panda. Pandas don't exist either, do they? Well, if I whipped out the crafting table real quick, plop that bad boy down. Boom. Boom. Why are they different rockets? That makes no sense. I keep changing the rockets every update. I don't have my elytron. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Not another stalactite cave. Okay, day number 89, and we got a big old cave on our hands. Let's see. Let's see if this leads to anything. This is literally nothing. This might be something, though. Ooh. Uh-oh. 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 Not the drip leaf, no. Is there, is there an axolotl somewhere? This is where he should spawn. We're in the lush cave biome and we're on clay. Why is there no axolotl? Why is there no axolotls? They're supposed to be spawning here. Is there any more lush caves down here? Mm, that is not lush. That is lava. Ow! He blew up right behind me. But I take a no damage because I'm a gamer. All right. Axolotl or no axolotl? That's... That scared me. I thought it was an axolotl. Why don't they spawn? They didn't spawn in the last one. Going on on the other end of this big old cave system. Spider jockey, no. All right, I think we go check the, uh, the lush little pond one last time. And then we make our decision. What up, gamer? Oh, there they are. Thank you. Which one do I want? There's a yellow one. There's two pink ones. I like the pink one better. Thank you. You're my friend now. Nice. All right. Now we just need to find a geode, which I'm surprised we haven't found yet. But I say let's let's bounce out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, are there any goats around? I can go find the goats. Oh, uh, hopefully make it across the ocean before our elytra breaks. Oh no, that's 80 durability. Hey, okay, why is the ocean so big? There we go. There we go. There we go. Is there a village? Yes, there is. Go settle down over there. Oh yeah, get him. Get him. I got you. Let me help. Let me help. Oh, you don't need my help. All right, what shall we do? We've got one more phantom membrane. Boom. So I have a dilemma. The next update is in caves as well. So I'm thinking I sit here for another day or so and I try to figure some stuff out with my um my elytra problem. And then what I do is after I figure out my elytra problem and we head out on the new update. Why is there only smoker people here? What the heck? But do you know what I'm saying? I think I go to sleep and then head over to day number 90 and go and figure this out. That's not a bed. There's no bed in here either. Where's the house that has a bed? This one over here. Boom. All right. So the plan is to get a librarian to sell me mending for pretty cheap and get a bunch of profits from that i'm pretty sure there are only two villagers here not anymore um oh you're not supposed to die i mean he's stuck in there now but then i'm screwed so that's cool um and the other okay all right where are we off to next uh oh there's a big old cave right here now is it as big as he says it is no it's not but there's What's up with all the jungles? I'm not trying to be in a jungle. This ain't even a jungle. It's like a... It's a very sad jungle. Well, I think I have to, um... Kind of have to call it quits. We are not finding anything, and we're going to make a bed. And so when it turns night, we can go immediately into the 1.19 update. The wild update, which involves going into more caves, so that's why it's not that big of a deal. We just don't want to load all the chunks over here. Finding a goat would be pretty cool, but apparently they don't exist either. So yeah, look at our little bee friend. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, now he's mad at me. Now he has to die. Look at this great flower valley. I think it's also called a meadow um not a flower valley but you know what i mean hopefully oh there's ice there's ice and there's more bees i think we could find goats over here actually we could find the goats in the icy mountains mate oh bruv oh is that a goat that is a sheep and maybe we can find powdered snow up here some, pow some powdered snow boy mate oh, find some powdered snow and a goat hello buddy how are you doing we found part of the update let's go you don't want to sit and just look at me Oh my goodness, it's his little friends. Hello. Well, we found the goats, finally. We just need the amethyst geodes, which I have a feeling we'll find when we look for the 1.19 update stuff. If you know what that is, you know what that is. And as the sun sets, 
the moon rises. I mean, just like real life, we'll be taking a nap on a snowy mountaintop. All right, and we will sleep on the snowy mountaintop, finally. Ooh. All right, and on day number 91, we're officially in the wild update, also known as the 1.19 update for Minecraft. This update came out on June 7th, 2022, and this was supposed to be a part of the Caves and Cliffs update, but Mojang could just couldn't finish in time, COVID and all that kind of stuff. And the main features of this update are the deep dark biome, the ancient cities, the warden, skull blocks, the new mangrove swamp biome, frogs, allays, and it also brings recovery compasses and boats with chests. Those are kind of two things that are obsolete in certain ways, but they're new. So yeah, what we will be looking for is the ancient city, obviously. That's the big one. Like, boom, we need that. The mangrove swamp is kind of a bonus. All right. I mean, we're already in a good biome to be looking for ancient cities in, but kind of did load a lot of chunks around here. Oh, there's powdered snow right there. Boom. Gotcha. So I'm not entirely sure how far I need to go out to spawn one back in. I think right here would be a perfect place to dig down, but I think we might have already loaded these chunks. So I don't know if they could be in there, right? I believe if we just continuously go this way, we will find one. Totally not because I use chunk base and I know that there's mountains over here. Anyways, ooh, and there's a village. Wow. I guess let's just loot this place up a little bit. You know, I, I could be a little greedy sometimes. Oh, and my elytra is broken. Uh-oh, big mountains up here. Uh-oh. Oh, now we're talking. This looks phenomenal. I already know that we're going to find an ancient city, but I got to act like I'm not because that's how Minecraft works. That's how YouTube works. I'm not faking it. This is not fake. I just needed, I needed to be able to find one through other means. It's not cheating just so I can actually do it instead of not do it. Would you rather me not do it? Just look for it for five days. That's what I thought. All right. Chances are you're probably asleep right now anyways. So what do you care? That was kind of rude. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I take it back. I hope you're not asleep, but some people do say I have a calming voice so they just naturally fall asleep or maybe my video just sucks that bad there's a village over here that's such a random place for there to be a village interesting all i want to check is what's in the blacksmith whoa it looks so familiar. I think I've seen this place somewhere before but it's garbage all right oh that cave is the cave that we're looking for just kidding. All right. all right ladies and gentlemen we are finally here these zombies can leave me alone yeah, i'm gonna go ahead and Block that off so nothing comes and swanton bombs me. We're just gonna dig down so far. I would love to make torches right now, but we don't have any sticks, so. You might just have to deal with the dark for a second. The deep dark. Oh, hey, we've got like a hundred more blocks to dig. No, this is not very fun, but we're gaming. Oh, there's the deep slate. And I can't really see the glare from my second monitor is astonishing. Oh, well, I mean, I, I said I knew I was going into there, so I guess I can't be surprised. Now, let me just find an end to this so I can find a good spot to drop down. Or I just do it in the middle, right in the center. Is that the portal? It is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, where boys become men. I'm honestly kind of freaked out, but it's not near as bad as I was in my hardcore world. I wonder why that keeps going off. We're officially on day number 92, and that will be the day where we scour this ancient city. I think it's safe to go. I mean, it's not safe whatsoever, but as safe as it can be, is dropping stuff do something? It does. That's, that's actually kind of crazy. Oh, that's a little scary. Um, don't do that. You don't have to do that. You can't see anything right now. I can't see anything right now. So what's the strat here? Wh why are we here? Do we want to loot a chest and then boom, that means we, we made it? Or because honestly, I'm not as freaked out by this as I am a Bastion. The Bastion is genuinely scary. This is just kind of like, this isn't too much of a threat in all honesty. Go watch my hardcore series. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's really not that bad. I think I'll get on top of the portal first. That's not cool. As long as you don't activate a shrieker, then we're fine. Get out. Get out. Thank you. Okay. Um, this place is kind of huge. Those are bad. Those are not good things. That is an oddly shaped half circle. Okay. I think that's a little more scary than all this out here. What I do like about this though, it doesn't seem like it's its own deep. It just seems like, what am I trying to say? What I like about this ancient city though, is it seems like it's its own deep dark biome. There's nothing around it. Like there's no deep dark up here, but then boom, it's deep dark down here. In my hardcore world, I had to go up into little caves up in here destroy skulk and get find the shriekers because they would keep spawning and i was pissing my pants so um like let, let's let's be real here let's be real so i could go and do this like I, I am very unprepared for this i have look look at my inventory i have a broken elytra i have a fire resistance potion i have one golden apple but what's that gonna do my armor is kind of garbage i am i can't kill this thing obviously i don't have any wool like, let, let's let's be real here guys will y'all be upset if i don't do anything with this because this place place is it's pretty rough i don't have a certain place that i can run to that i know for sure of that if he shows up that's a little scary and i think this is 
two ancient cities actually this might be connected so um yeah well if we look at this objectively well we have found skulk blocks we have found an ancient city we found deep slate bricks we we found the place we've seen candles boom last update we've seen the deep dark this is the deep dark biome oh there's oh <laughs> you know i just ate my own words it says the deep dark ancient cities the warden we have not seen the warden yet do i want to see him not entirely no but do we have to i think we might actually have to i think we can cheese it though watch this Boom. Now everything goes dark. Everything's just so scary. Turn on F3B. So if he does show up, I can see his hitbox. So I don't have to actually see him. And then boom. One last one. And it should spawn now. It should be the last one. Nope. I think it's one more. One more. Because it gives you three chances. And then it says, screw you. You're going to die. All right. One last try. Where's he at? He's not up here, is he? I don't think he is. I hope not. There he is. There's the warden. Um, Why is he looking at me? He doesn't know I'm up here. He's blind. He can't see. And I don't smell that bad. I took a shower yesterday. Well, there he is. There's the warden. He's trying to stiff me. Just go back in your hole. You can't smell me from up there. It's funny how he actually, he knows I'm up here. He keeps looking up here. I don't know if that's a thing or if that's just like, I don't, I'm, I don't know. Look at him. He's not that big. Not that big and tough. He's not that scary. Look at him. Look at him down there. What's he gonna do? I feel like that one nature documentary guy. The guy who goes and scouts out all the wild animals that could potentially kill him. Okay, how long does it take for him to leave? Or maybe I just disappear. Or maybe he can smell my feet. He's been there forever. He knows I'm up here. I that That's definitely what it is. I gotta leave a little bit. Don't I have to go away from him for a while or something? Okay, and if I look down and he's right below me, he knows I'm here. He knows I'm here. What do I do? I don't want to make any noise though. Okay, I'm I'm leaving now. Bye bye. Have fun. See you later. All right, it was fun. Boom. Hello. All right, get me in the bed now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Just kidding. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. But not for me. All right. Day number ninety-three. We are still looking for um the stuff. Well, the only things left to find in this update are the mangrove swamp. So I guess I'll just be running north for forever till I find one. Cause I don't have an elytra anymore. But at least we got our little friend in the bucket. He can accompany me. I guess I'll go back to the the OG. I'll make a boat. Boom. There's the boat. And I guess I can make it make a chest. Cause if I make a chest, I can put the boat in the chest. Put the chest in the boat, just like that. Boom. We'll be taking that. We'll be jumping into there. We'll be placing that boat down. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. I guess we'll be going in the boat chest. Chest boat. Mm, I think I'm going to go this way, actually. I wanted to take the water, but I don't think it's the smartest thing to do. Oh, if I'm in the boat with the chest, I put something in there and I get out. Is it? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But that'd be pretty sick if it didn't. It was like another shulker box type thing. But I understand why it's not. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Bump, bump. That's a big old cave right there. Well, we need to find the mangrove swamp right now. And then in the next update, we need to find the cherry blossom biome. It's also a good thing we have copper because we're going to need that for a brush. We'll have to find a new desert and a new cherry blossom biome. And one of the plans is hopefully find some armor trims. But we'll talk about that later. Oh, wouldn't you know, there's a village up ahead. You know, even though I still literally have netherite armor, I still want to rob these people for some reason. I mean, they already live in the snow, so they're probably pretty poor, but... Ooh, I actually want that bed instead of the white one. Thank you. But it's okay. When they have nothing, what can you really steal? I guess they're cold. They're only source of power. They'll be fine. They don't even eat food. They're not even real. This Minecraft's not even real. This is just a game. Uh-oh, not the ice spikes. We're going in the wrong direction. There's another village up there. Whoa, that's a pillager outpost. A lays? What? We find those? That's a very odd place for a pillager outpost. I don't know they could do that. That's pretty cool, actually. And I think goat horns exist, too. We could find one of those in the chest. Where are those blue little floaty things? There's none right there. Where'd you, what'd you do with them? What'd you do with them? Why are they not in the cage? Did you kill them? Did you murder the Alays? Aren't they your slaves? Isn't that technically what they are? Let's see what this place got for me. Boom. Goat horn. There we go. It's Sing. What does this actually do? That's lame. I thought that was going to be cool. That's whatever. There's no Alays here though. What are the odds? What are the odds I run into something of the update and the update's not even there? They're apparently pretty high, but now we head onwards. We just run across the ice with our horn in hand. I think there might be an igloo right here. There's something right here. Oh, yeah. It is an igloo. Boom. Okay, does this one actually have the 
underground base? Or was that all just a figment of my imagination? So is this like the, um, what effect, did, what effect is it called? Not the Rube Goldberg, but the, oh wait, you think it happened, but it actually didn't happen thing? I have no idea. I don't remember. But it's like that. Because all the igloos that I've found haven't had anything in them. Oh, there's the strays finally. I haven't seen those ever. That was part of an update a long time ago. Now I'm a little slow. There's another igloo. Let's test the theory. A game theory. Sorry. That's actually so sad. He re He's retiring. There's another village. He deserves better. Okay, I must have just been lied to. It doesn't exist. And that's okay. I just wish I would have fully known that. Well, this village is kind of lame. I heard a zombie villager. I might actually want this if I want to do um, armor trims. Hey, yo. Now we're just gaming. Now we're gaming. Let's just keep running and then running and then boom. Boom boom. I have a pretty strong feeling that there is a mangrove swamp in my direction, about 2,000 blocks away. Just a hunch. I mean, not that I would have external websites to tell me where things are. You're just riding on a boat. Riding on a boat with a chest. Riding on a boat. Riding on a boat with a chest. Riding on a boat. Do, do, do. Riding on a boat with a chest. Boom, 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 boom. Well, that was fun. Not more ice spikes, no. Those aren't very big spikes, though. Those are some big spikes, though. Ka-chow. That's a pretty big spike. Oh, that's a mountain. Never mind. Uh-oh, day number 94. Just two days left to find this swamp. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm still a little upset about the LAs, though. That was honestly pretty dumb. Well, that kind of sums up my luck this whole entire 100 days. With the biggest problem being all my enchantments leaving. But that's okay. There's a normal swamp. I think we're getting somewhere, boys. And girls. I know, some girls watched me. Like 47% of y'all last time. Well, the main percentage of my viewers, mate. I was kind of shocked. Uh-oh, another swamp. I can almost taste it. We're getting closer. Well, looks like we got a big old ocean to cross. Ahoy, mateys. We have found it to the... What? Ahoy, mateys. We have found our sunken ship. Is that jungle wood? That's pretty cool. All right, bye. We're just gaming. We're zooming now. We're just living life. I don't know exactly where we're going, but I'm going somewhere. And that's all that matters. Hot pockets. Uh-oh. Not so hot anymore, are they? What's your favorite flavor of Hot Pocket? The pizza one and the Philly cheesesteak one are fantastic. Nothing beats a good old croissant meat and cheese. But there's some interesting ones out there that I've seen. If you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. You should go in the comments and type gamer. And if you're an epic gamer, go and type in epic gamer. Just a suggestion. A jungle a parrot i want you hold on hold on you're pretty cool come here buddy you're coming with me boom all right hop on my shoulder let's go hey hey get away from my friend oh my goodness how did i hit him and i need some of this stuff get on my shoulder come on i also need that feather and the stick come on pal let's go let's go all right all right it's me and my parrot no not the water i'm sorry come back come here buddy there we go all right we're gaming oh why why did you jump off come on come back can i go in the water no, I can't. Look at me. I'm gaming in third person. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Screw it. Bye-bye. Sorry. I can almost smell it. We're so close. <gasps> there it is. There we go. There we go. Boom. All right. It's actually raining, so I think it's a good time to go to sleep. I'm going to take myself a little nap, mate. All right. Time to find some frogs. Not the skeleton. Ow. Not going to be fun. Boom. Bye bye. Our little buddy, he wants to come with me. There's bees? Bees can spawn in the swamp biome? Sure, whatever. I just need the frogs. There we are. What up, little guy? He's so cute. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him jump. Hop, skip, and jump to grandmother's house. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. I guess we just keep running. We're nomads now. We got one more day of this update, but we've done everything that this update has to offer. What are your opinions on the mangrove swamp biome? I'm not the biggest fan, honestly. The trees are just messy. The moss carpet literally has no purpose. Oh, hey, it's a witch. What up, gamer? What are you drinking? Fire resistance? I don't think so. Oh, hey. He's back. He's been following me. There's a, <gasps> a black cat. Isn't that really rare? It's only rare if I don't kill it. Come here, kitty. And we got another witch hut, too. That's pretty cool. You know, I think these last 10 days have been kind of fitting, honestly. Because what I see people complain about a lot is, Oh my goodness, Minecraft's so easy. Oh my goodness, you have, a, you have an elytra, you get to fly around all the, all the time. Exploration's not even the same. Well, guess what? It's the same for me, so... People are always going to have a problem with it, though. I'm going to say that. Some people are going to be like, Oh my goodness, yes, you're so right. Some people are going to say, That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's in the game. Why not just use it? I agree with that. What I don't agree with is the fact that I don't find any jungle temples until a certain update and then boom they're just everywhere look at the parakeets 
I was hoping since we saw another jungle, we'd find some pandas, but I genuinely don't know where they're at. Cause I've searched so many jungles. I've searched a bamboo forest. I have not found any sign of my big white and black fluffy friend. Ooh, my butt hurts from sitting down so long. All right. And I think I'm going to go to sleep and enter day 96 for a final update. Um, if the skeleton will allow me to, you stay away from my parrot friend. Boom. Day number 96. Here we come. All right. And now we're on day 96. The trails and tails update. This update is the official 1.20 update of Minecraft, which came out on June 7th, 2023. So it's pretty recent. The main features of this update are archaeology, archaeology, archaeology arch 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 archaeology well wow, why can't i say that archaeology features brushes and suspicious sand ancient seeds and plants pottery camels sniffers cherry trees armor trims and it also brings more bamboo blocks and items and hanging signs so first things first let's whip out the trusty shulker box we got boom i think it's like this a bamboo block and this turns into bamboo planks and so there's just a whole bunch of stuff you can do with this you can make a crafting table you can make a boat or it's actually a raft it's pretty sick i'm actually gonna use that now and then we have hanging signs which i think you need chains to make those with but we also need to grab a couple more pieces of cobblestone just really quickly all right so we make one of these boom put that in there boom and boom also i don't know if you can notice but we have shaders now it makes it look pretty cool and i am not myself anymore for some reason we don't talk about that, but we get that. Boom, the brush. Nice. Make a couple of those just in case. All right, we don't need that anymore. Boom, bam. Okay, so a couple things we need to find, obviously, are archaeological features. Just the little ruins that we can sand down. Hopefully, we get a sniffer egg pretty quickly. I've heard takes a while. It really just depends. Hopefully, we can get an ancient seed or an ancient plant. I think we have to get a sniffer first to get that. Also, we're going to have to find a desert for all the new desert stuff, like the camels and the pottery, as well as a cherry blossom biome. So, we got some exploring to do without our elytra, but we got our little parrot friend, and we're going to go and get to gaming, all right? These last five days. All right, and let's just go ahead and head off this way. We get a new chance to use our raft. I like how they went ahead and did a raft instead of just a boat. I think it adds a nice little touch. Oh, there's a village right here. Okay. Wait, what's that over there? <gasps> we already found the cherry blossoms. Let's go. I don't know they were going to be that easy to find. Let's go ahead and check out what they got up here. Look at the pink petals. We got the pink petals. Let's go. I guess this biome is not very big. Um, It doesn't, doesn't seem very big. It's just the mountaintop. Just kind of fitting. There's another village that way, but we need a sand village, not just a regular village. We get a couple of these blocks. If you haven't watched my other 100 days video where I survived 100 days in expanding border, you'll be very familiar with these blocks. I used quite a bit of them and they were pretty cool. Oh, I guess there's another biome over there too. That's pretty nice. But this definitely opens up my day or my next five days. I found this pretty quickly. Why is this house so far away from the other ones? What did this villager do? Well, another village that we don't need to worry about. All right, so I guess we'll just continue running. I mean, we don't really have a direction. We just got to go and find this stuff in the new update. And I think that's what we'll be doing a lot of in the next five days just running around see i thoroughly enjoy the shaders that i have because they're called the complimentary reimagined shaders it's just complimenting normal minecraft like this doesn't look any different these don't look any different than normal which is so nice because it's not anything drastic you know i'm not entirely sure what the ruins actually look like i'm sure if i see one boom i'm gonna know exactly what it is but i'm kind of just going in blindly here and just hopefully that i somehow stumble across one. Oh my goodness it's a fox. It's a fox. Come here, little guy. All right. He's getting killed. You're getting killed too. Sorry. I looked for you for 10 updates and now you're here. What's up with that? What's up with that, huh? What's up with that? Oh, no. Oh, not so sorry now, huh, buddy? Enough of that. Let's keep going. Oh, and there is another village. I think the spruce or the whatever you want to call them, the taiga villages are the absolute best. They just look so clean. They have that little cozy vibe too. Very nice. Another fox? No. No. Get back here. Get back here. Never mind. All right, you can live this time. You're lucky. All right, let's head out on our raft into a nothingness. Look at that shader sunrise. It looks so good. It looks phenomenal. Let's just head off into the sunset or the sunrise, I guess. But now we're on day number 97. We've got four more days left. We still got plenty we can do. This is so fun. That sounded very sarcastic. I'm actually enjoying myself, but it could be a little bit better if I wasn't just floating around. If I could fly, but I guess I kind of did 
did this to myself. We're just trying to find a desert. All I'm finding is these big old beautiful mountains. Um, I think that might be a trail ruin. Hold on. Is that doing something? Oh, I can literally brush any block off. Um, that's not indented. That's not either. That right there is. What do you got for me? It's blue. Oh, it's blue dye. I don't need that. Is there any other suspicious... That was suspicious. Oh my goodness. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not. That is right there. Brush this bad boy off. What is that? Oh, is it white dye? Interesting. Wow. Well, I didn't know the ruins looked like this. The suspicious. I'm trying to find all of the sus gravel. Oh, oh, it's a pottery shard. Let's go. That's pretty cool. I need what? Four of those to make a pot? Is that suspicious too? I think that is. No, it's not. The one below it is though. What is that? Is that a f banana? Oh, it's orange dye. Banana, what am I thinking? Ooh, another piece of gravel. That's a seed. I'm not... I'm not, I don't want that. Sorry. There's some terracotta too. This place is huge. Oh, it's another pottery shard. Let's go. Is there any more stuff in here? There's another thing right here with a hoe. I don't want that. Sorry. Another one. This. Th there's so much stuff right here. More orange dye. I'll take it, I guess. Um, I don't think any more. Sus oh, there's more right there. I keep eating my words. Golden nuggets. I don't want that. All right. Here's another one. What is that? That's an armor trim. That's huge. How rare is that? A shaper armor trim. Nice. Okay, this trail ruin is actually huge. I don't know what these things actually look like. I didn't know you could just run up into them. What is this? Wheat? Nope. No, thank you. All right. There's so much more stuff down here we can explore now that we kind of watered it out. There's still some over here, but... I, I, I just need to slow down. Keep doing that. See, okay, yeah, that is suspicious right here. There's some blue dye. We don't need that. And there's another section over here, right here. Oh, another shard. Boom. We just need one more shard, and then we can make a whole entire pot. Still no sniffer egg, which is kind of crazy. Glass? No, thank you. I'm okay. You know, this stuff takes actually kind of good. I should I actually kind of like this. I thought this was going to be pretty dumb, but like a kid again. What is that? Oh, it's light blue dye. Nope. No, thank you. Another one. More dye. No, thanks. Boom. Clay block. No, thank you. There's more. What's this? Boom. Our final pottery shard. Another heart piece. Boom. Okay. Well, we have our own crafting table we can place down. We do it like this. Heartbreak. Sheaf. Sheaf. Heart. Boom. How does this look? Wow. And that's pretty cool for some decoration. Oh, okay. You break it and it breaks into all four of them. Oh, that's kind of smart. So you can decorate them however you want to. That's cool. Let's go and do this now. We have our smithing table. We can take our, let's do our chest plate and boom, boom. We have a diamond in here. Let's go and do it with diamond because we're, we're a little bougie like that. Boom. Just like that. How does that look? I mean, that's not too flashy, but it, it looks pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. We've got quite a bit of suspicious sand. We can fill mine. Sand. There's no sand here. What am I saying? A pane of glass. No, thank you. Another pane of glass. No, thank you. Oh, another one. Another pane of glass. No, thank you. Oh, another. Oh, what the heck? An emerald. That's... That's better than the last one. Another clay block. No, thank you. And that's all that you've got back here. What is this? Another armor trim. Nice. A razor armor trim. The last one was the shaper one. Let me try that one out in a second. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, a sign. The heck? Hanging sign. That's pretty cool. Another armor trim. It's the host armor trim. Well, we can keep putting armor trims on our armor. We have more diamonds. We boom, boom. We'll do the host. What does the other one look like? The razor. Eh, I like the host one better on the pants. Let's do those. Next one will be our helmet. That looks pretty sick. We'll do that. Nice. Still no sniffer egg, which is kind of crazy. Ooh, another clay pot thing. Dang it. I saw that one. And I was like, why did I do that? I think there's three right here. Another armor trim. Okay. Some dye. Don't need that. And another armor armor trim. I thought the armor trims are supposed to be pretty rare. What's in here? Is that? It's a, it's a candle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There's a grindstone in here. We got another clay pot shard and we've been down here for pretty much a day. We will continue to search for this egg on day 98. Yeah, it's day 98 already. You know, I thought this thing wouldn't be too hard to find, but actually pretty rough. I don't know why. I think we're almost done though. We're getting pretty close. Okay. I think that's it. That is, oh, oh no, my shovel. No, I could have repaired that. Oh my goodness. I guess it's not going to matter in three days. It'll be fine. Boom, new shovel alert. Let's go. Do I finish out my armor or do I redo it? Yeah, I do. Hold on. Boom. Boom. With the boots. Which one do I do, though? The razor? Uh, or the... That one's so much cooler. Boom. Fully trimmed armor. That looks pretty sick. Some exciting stuff right there. Well, let's see what else we can get from this. Maybe I won't break the suspicious ones now. I have a little more time. Oh, there is more right here. Okay. A seed. Yeah, no thank you. Another pot shard. Nice. I'll be taking that. All right. We're almost done, I think, now. Okay. I think that might have actually been it. Unless there's another section that I just completely neglected in here. Some more right here. There is another section. This place is huge. I'm actually surprised this is taking so long. I guess it's because I got to be a little careful. That's a piece of wheat. 
some more suspicious. And another pot of clay, or a clay of piece of piece of clay pot, a cl piece of something. Another one. It's a it's a music disc. Excuse me. A relic. Wow. Exciting. There's another one right here. Is that another music disc? What are the odds of that? No, it's another brick. Okay. Never mind. That's another music disc. Um, say no to that. I'm okay. That's another armor trim. Sure. I would gladly take another armor trim. Um, I think that was it. I'm gonna I say that, but I'm gonna go back and there's gonna be a whole nother section, huh? Oh yeah, I think that was all. That's pretty neat though. Took me quite a while to get through and quite a bit of shovels to get through. I think we'll be heading back up now. Let's get some dirt. Oh, He's taking over our boat. Well, that was pretty neat. That was actually a lot bigger than I expected it to be. What were we looking for? Oh, a sand. Oh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a sand village with camels. Oh, there's a village right there. We might have already found that one before, but let's go to it anyways. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Let's see what it has. And that's the only thing I'm going to loot because I don't want to be here. We don't have that much time. Boom. I mean, for a starting, that'd be pretty good. But for me, garbage. I took garbage, mate. But look at that sunrise. That looks so cool. Even for Minecraft, I'm like, what the heck? I know it's shaders, but oh my goodness. God has given us this life. He's gotten us all these beautiful sunsets in real life, and he's allowed us to see a beautiful sunset like this, even in a video game. It's crazy. Now, look at this funny looking thing. Looks like a floating hand or something. I don't know. Look at this big old mountain too. The day is starting on day number 99, and we still need to go find that desert village. All right, let's continue onward on day 99. We've only got two more days, and it doesn't even seem like that because I'm not in a rush to do anything but i guess that makes sense because we're not actually in a rush to do anything we've kind of been in a rush to do things this whole entire video so that would make a little bit of sense i guess we're heading off into the seven seas let's go all right land ho boom 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 let's just run this way we're bound to find something and we're off setting these seven seas again i think in minecraft there's more than seven seas but we'll we'll stick with the bit um that's not a desert you know what minecraft should do they should have jungle villages That'd be sick. Like, imagine a big old just village just in the trees. How great would that be? But yet again, it's Minecraft, so I don't know. You can't really expect much from them, but that'd be pretty sick. Just another, not another village update, but just an update on villages, like new generations, or just the, I guess after this next update, just the building update, quote unquote. The building update would be so cool. I know it probably wouldn't be called that, but um, instead of completely remodeling the old temples and whatnot, you leave them, but make even better ones. Like, I don't, I haven't seen any of the new snapshots, but apparently it's some dungeon type thing. Why don't they do that? But with every biome or most biomes, like the jungle dungeon instead of a jungle temple, the desert dungeon, just things like that. And not that you have to add so many new items, just new structures. That'd be pretty sick. I guess it'd be called the structures update then, but, or even pillager towns, not even pillager outposts. Like you can keep the other stuff in, but implement the new things as well. Cause the main complaint people are complaining about is the fact that the exploration has lost its touch. Cause there's nothing to really explore. You find something, then boom, it's whatever. But if there was more things to find, then you would be able to explore more. I don't know. I think that'd be pretty sick. I wouldn't mind that update at all. Or even just villages in every single biome. It's different buildings based on the biome, obviously. And then every, and then every villager has their own type of suit, like how they do right now. Like Acacia villagers have different clothes. Same with plains villagers. Same with desert villagers. All that kind of stuff. Oh, does that count as a desert? I don't know. I don't know if they can have villages, but I guess we'll go and look. Or even like if there's a village in the Badlands, boom, you have a Badlands village instead of just a regular village. I think, I don't know if that exists actually. Whoa, this place is kind of sick. I don't know. I feel like an update like that is what people want. Or even an update to customize your world. There's an option to do one single biome. Why don't you have an option to do four different biomes or only have these things spawn? I mean, from a content standpoint, that'd be great. Oh, boom, sand village. Let's go. Just what we're looking for. Anyways, from a content standpoint, that'd be pretty sick because because you could make it so hard or so easy. I, there's so many things you could do with it. I mean, they're not thinking of people who are making videos. They're thinking of people who play the game. But from that standpoint, people will be creative with it. Oh, there is a camel. Look at the big old thing. Look at him. He's kind of funny. He doesn't look like he's supposed to be in Minecraft. Why is his neck built like that? Oh, I can ride him? Is he my friend already or what? Oh, I need a saddle. Does this place have a saddle for me? Whoa. Hey, why is he sitting like that? Oh, well, I can jump on him. I, I can ride him while he's sitting. That's pretty neat. I mean, how useful is this really, guy really going to be for anything? I'm not sure, but it's definitely cool. Oh, oh, he's definitely burning his butt right now. That does, that, there's no way that feels good. Oh, desert temple. Boom. We're going over there. All right, let's check this bad boy out. Oh, is there a saddle in here? Silk touch book. That's pretty cool, but no saddle. All right. All I really wanted was a saddle so I could ride the camel. Well, the only thing we have left to do is find a sniffer egg, but where do we do that at? I know we can 
find desert wells or we can find them in the ground or in the water or anything like that but how am i even supposed to go about finding that without my elytra there's no wells over here or anything i guess we can keep exploring the desert there's got to be a desert well somewhere right and even the odds of a desert well actually having the egg is probably pretty rare oh boom desert well all right i guess it was that easy i guess it was dead easy brother where's the suspicious sand at boom right here emerald first one that's pretty cool boom some more suspicious sand emerald second one i mean that's i mean that's cool oh is that literally it or is there more down here okay well it seems like desert wells probably have good stuff in them because there's not as much suspicious sand i can't even say suspicious but that's the problem there's not as many chances of finding a sniffer egg so yeah okay we'll just we'll just keep going we'll just be gaming there's got to be more out there oh phantoms oh my goodness hooray that's actually so great nope See, that's why you need looting. Why is that one so far away? Come back. Come hit me, please. All my hopes and dreams lost. Gone with the wind. Just so sad now. That would have been great for figuring some last second out stuff. What, are, what did I just say? I just had a seizure. There's another village over here, though. Let's see if there's anything here for me. Boom, nothing. I don't know why I'm looting here. I don't need anything from them. Come on. Ah, uh, I almost killed him. I'm sorry. You, I don't mind killing, though. Bye bye. And there it is. There it is. The sunrise of day 100. In all its glory. I would give my 100 day speech, but it is not over yet. We still have one more day. Just one more day to make things right. By make things right, I don't mean go home because that's completely out of the picture. I will do that after and then finish the intro, outro, whatever. But there's still a few things we can do. We're still gaming. We need to find some suspicious sand or gravel or whatever we can and find that egg. Pop the egg. Get some torch seeds or a torch flower. Wait, wait, wait. Can't tell if that's a... I think that might be... I know I see the desert temple over there, but I think this might be a well inside of the mountain or just very strategically placed. No, that's, that's definitely a well. Is this the saving grace? Oh yeah, that's definitely a well. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, we can't celebrate yet, but the shard, we don't need that but okay i guess we'll take it how many more just one more i think they only have two what's that some stew what does it do gives me some night vision that's useless all right all right that's cool great game by the way that's fantastic all my hopes and dreams gone lost well what else is there i see a village over here it's not really my best interest honestly got a really big building though what the heck i think i'm just wasting my time here yep there's the jungle this way we can't lose hope there's no shot there's red suspicious sand right oh this is a very anticlimactic last day i'm sorry guys guys truly am wish i had more to bring to the table but we're just not getting lucky the luck was completely not on our side i guess throughout the last 20 days we did get pretty lucky with some of the stuff but oh look coral reef wow that really tops off the day doesn't it i guess we'll finish off with looting this desert temple because we totally need Ooh, we totally need more loot on the last day right oh oh okay i mean this is technically part of the update that's okay i'm not i'm not upset about that golden apple okay we have all four and we have three diamonds too okay wow i can't even i can't even be upset at that that's not even bad another pot there we go there's some of the dune templates can you redo your armor yes you can go and get the full set of dune armor why not do i do that i think diamond just looks cooler boom the full set of dune armor that actually looks pretty sick wow okay i guess that did kind of pertain to the update that's pretty nice oh well, i guess i'll say goodbye to that actually i'll just sleep in here boom the end of the hundred days there we go oh and after a couple of long days i'm finally back in my house if you made it this far i just want to thank you guys for sticking around to the end the journey through Minecraft itself has been amazing. Going back to see the first initial release of Minecraft up until the newest update. Just seeing the history of Minecraft lay itself out is pretty cool. And being able to appreciate the old Minecraft and appreciate the new. So yes, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a blessed day.